kicking like one, dolomite. Two, three, Last one four, got copyright. I'm kicking like dolomite. Five, to be sure. Hey, one time, Last you ready? One got copyright. Yeah. Last one got Fuck. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joel. Yeah, for real. And when it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass a halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. And ain't no capping around here. Cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us with slice between your eyes like Jen Sakai That's no lie nor prank I grab the ratchet, no clank And get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name Yeah Look Look Look, king of the castle like Cooper, captain of the ship My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views, I ain't talking Twitch Hey yo, Alex, go ahead, talk to him real quick Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game's so tight, it's like Jordan one lace. Hey, we stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coco Long Scene was cute, hey, and yeah, it served its purpose. But I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these niggas before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jacking the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak dissing, that's that stuff that get you banned. Last time we told your ass to squad up, you turn telling it right. Go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30 niggas, heard me, the time is up. Since 2015, we been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Dust your boots. Hey. Hey. Are you kidding me? Hey. Developers, Dust developers, developers. Dolomite, motherfucker, you heard of. Huh? 40 clips, kicking like Dolomite. Hey, 40 clips. Aim at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip anytime you niggas wanna fight. Body guns and body counts, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? What they say, huh? Hey, hey, what they say? Hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss it, get hurt, no face, no case. Smashed up like a Jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vet, I'm gonna get back. Time to pay that debt. It's time for weapon wheel. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, chat? Let me know if y'all can hear me. We hear you. How y'all doing this fine Sunday? This is Weapon Wheel Podcast, the podcast that helps you get through your Mondays and ignore your coworkers. You know, you just throw on them headphones and just ignore everything that's going on in your work week and you could just listen to Weapon Wheel. That's what, we're, that's what we're here for. We're happy to be of service. What's going on, y'all? Not much. Just chilling. Philly's in first place. Baseball's watchable again. Mm. Okay. Okay. I didn't even know you watched. You, is there any sport you don't watch? You just watch all sports? But Do you not remember how people used to complain about my whole mantle of trophies? Mm. Those were all baseball. Yeah, I can't watch no baseball. I don't. I don't think I've ever watched an entire game. 
it's something good to put on the background when they're cleaning and doing something. Mm. Mm. What up, Jack? Today's your, today was your mother's birthday, right? Yes, sir. What's good? I think you're on your bad mic. Am I? Oh, shit. Hold on. Sounds, sounds like it. Mike. Definitely on my bad mic, huh? Hello? Speaking um, of uh, watching baseball, doing shit, I got to pull some clothes out real quick. Be back in a minute. All right. Oh, so you so your mother's a Leo. Oh, she's among she's among royalty. Is that is that what they call it? Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. You know, even though I don't believe in them signs and stuff like that, but you know, if uh, if royalty, you know, was a sign, it would definitely be the Leos. Oh man. You smell me? Do you smell me, dog? Guess so, dog. All right. You got a new mic or something? Nah, why? I sound sexy. No. No, why you ask though? It not just sounds different. It sounds like you're like testing out a mic. You're like, you're speaking with like some sort of new emphasis. Oh, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy. You know, that's the happiness coming through my voice. Maybe, you know, I'm happy all the time, man. You know, maybe I'm just emphasizing that today. It's, it's a nice day. BG's happy. What's going on, bro? I'm I'm always happy. People think I'm like upset for some reason all the time because I state my opinion, but I'm always happy. Uh, yeah. You guys can hear me. Yeah. What's up, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. E even though even though I'm always making the timeline upset me myself, I'm always happy. You know, the yeah. timeline is just so the timeline is mad. I'm never mad. They can't you hear know? smooth. What the hell? They can't hear me. Am I muted? Uh, no, I can. I can hear you. No, I definitely hear you. Ah, just move my mic just a little bit closer to me. It's all good. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is Weapon Wheel episode two ninety one. It was a pretty dry week. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but uh, we're gonna maneuver our way around that. I hit up. Uh, you know, I po made a post on the Weapon Wheel Patreon. Um, open to everybody, by the way, asking for some questions and topics to fill any gaps we may have so um yeah gonna take some questions from there we'll take some questions from the chat uh once we run out of topics um from that happened this week if we run out of topics you know we tend to let a lot of stuff uh you know run long so pause by the way um so yeah we gonna we gonna see how it goes uh 547 yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this uh get this thing going so this is a Weapon Wheel Podcast, episode 291. We are on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Please hit the like button, you know, that uh, to support the podcast, help the podcast grow with this YouTube algorithm. So you can also support the podcast by hitting the join uh, button and becoming a member of the channel. Or you can go to the Weapon Wheel Patreon and become, uh, you know, somebody, uh, become a member there. Uh, supporting either of those will give you access to the Weapon Wheel Discord, and becoming a member of the channel will give you access to custom emotes and chat badges. And also, if you would like to submit a video to be featured during the podcast, there is a link in the description where you can just drag and drop the gameplay, and I will, uh, you know, I will most likely use it in a future episode. But now that I've been back to gaming, you know, my life has settled down after my move and everything. I actually have time for gaming. You're probably going to see most of my gameplay from now on. I'm just putting uh, it out there. But that ain't nothing but a good thing. Quick, that ain't quick question, BJ. Did, did, you, yeah. did you see Brooklyn Squad? Uh, I did. That We're going to talk about it. Because, you know, since we have a lack of topics, we're actually going to talk about Su Suicide Squad. And you can hate all you want, but she was kind of the MVP of that movie. I mean... Rats in Brooklyn are pretty unstoppable. I mean, rats. Any if you honestly, if you could control rats, there there's no place place that rats aren't in the world. Roaches are probably more are worse, but like rat, rats are everywhere in the world. So if you can control them, you can control the earth. You you literally sound like that episode of the Boondocks where Charlie Murphy, and then we're talking about kidnapping Oprah. <laughs> you control the world. You gotta control over. You have control over Oprah. You got control over bitches. You got control over bitches. You got control over the world. They had the right idea. They know what's up. Yes, sir. Uh so yeah, let's uh let's do these uh intros. Bond. 
What's going on, everybody? Nice, calm, relaxing weekend. Let's get it going today. All right. Blandrew? What's going on, everybody? Jack? Hello, everyone. Hey. And uh, Smooth. What's up, everybody? All right. And um, by the way, I did invite Blaze because, you know, every time I uh, be oh, in... Um, see, see, here's the thing. Every time I be in, you know, uh, Blaze, whatever Discord Blaze be in, he be like, Binky, you never invite me to your podcast no more. And is it because I'm Italian? I'm like, yeah, Blaze, it's definitely because you're Italian. You know, that's literally what it is. I don't, I clearly don't like Italians. And then I invite him and he late. He, he don't show up. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy, hey, man. Great to see you. Well, it's not like Rev invites me on his anymore. Oh, oh. man. Hey, you shouldn't have talked to talk about that man here loss. <laughs> <laughs> Figured that would be it. Oh, yeah. He called him ball here. Yeah. Yeah. They lost. It's gone. Mm. You know, t- tell him to get some uh, Rogaine just I for Mangel. I told him to get that Brian Erlocker joint. It's only 10 grand. <laughs> 10 grand. <laughs> Bro, 10 grand not to go bald? I would pay it if I was bald. Mm. I mean, ass. I mean, you I could pay a hundred grand for new knees. Oh man, I, I think the main ingredient in Rogaine or whatever these things, I think it's called minadoxyl or something like that. I think that's the main ingredient. So you could just buy, you know, Minoxidil. buy that minoxidil. Okay, yeah, buy that, rub it all over your head, you know, see if anything sprouts. Oh God, and, you know, you'd be a brand new man the next day. Well, I don't know about the next day. You know, it might might take a while, but. <clears throat> I got them good genetics, not something I worry about. But uh yeah, um let's get let's get into some topics. Uh I'll see what Blaze is doing. But let's let's uh talk about what we're playing. What is everybody playing right now? We haven't asked that question in a while. So uh, I'm gonna start with Smooth. What are you playing right now? Um I be, I just finished up the ascent. Um so I haven't really started anything really much new since that. Um but the ascent would be probably the most reason since I'm still trying to 100 percent complete it. Ready, beat it. Just trying to get the 100 percent achievements. Wait, how? Okay. I thought you gave up on it. What happened? Oh, I, oh, I ended up beating it like uh, like an hour or two after that tweet. It was a bug. What, what what hacks did you use? No, no, the game is like has like a ton of bugs, and the thing is, they kept spawning AI that was um like five um like like five levels over. They they, they were spawning. The level was too high, and they were, it's not supposed to happen like that on like a main quest. Side quest, yes, but like main quest, you're supposed to be um within your level, and mm-hmm. it didn't happen until after um my my friend Old Man Logan um joined me, and he was uh probably as, uh, around the same level I was, and then they dropped the AI level back to what it was supposed to be, which was the level like I think like twenty six and twenty five. Okay, and and I saw that they they added difficulty options in the ascent because they weren't there at launch. Oh, did they? Um, yeah, there was no difficulty option, and I just figured it was supposed to be like that since it was level based, um, which makes sense. I mean, um, so I thought it was purposely not having any difficulty levels in there, uh, because the thing is that the game is not really. Um, how can I? It doesn't hold. Like the thing is, once you get into the main game, you kind of have the flexibility and freedom to go anywhere you want and tackle any um, like side missions. But the thing is that a lot of things aren't as clear. So when I first um, I tried to play the game when I, I first got it. it was like I, I did two main missions. I was like, you know what? Let me try to clear as many side missions as possible. But did hey, I? B- BG, they said they can't hear nobody really. They said the audio is low. Really? Um, yeah. yeah. I think if okay. you hit the like button, the audio goes up. I'm not quite sure. All right, I turned everybody up. Uh, let me see. Okay, I turned everybody up. Hello, on hello, OBS. hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much like when the game, um, once you get into the uh, main game, you got the flexibility to, to, to tackle like side missions and stuff. And um, and what I did after I did like the first two main missions, I, I wanted to try to clear as many side missions as I could. But then I learned, well, that's not really possible because the side missions, they'll have, they'll have an icon on it of like the recommended level. So, um, and I could only imagine people trying to tackle like the side missions at the early parts of the game. And, the, and if you venture off too far to the area, uh, you're going to run into high level AI and, and, they, and they go in mobs and, they're, and you can see levels like freaking 20 levels above you um, if you opted to go that far. But that's where I tied the difficulty to. Um, 
I don't. It's not that the game. I thought the game was hard. I, it was just the, the the leveling system was broken because at sometimes it was spawned properly, and then some playthroughs it wouldn't. Um, and then sometimes you would mistakenly get like if you're in a boss fight, they'll duplicate the boss, and it's not supposed to do that. Um, so that like that's the difficulty areas that I ran into, and the reason. And when I almost nearly gave up, it was I was on the last mission, and they were level spawning like level thirty tanks and. A mob of level 30 um like ai and in the grand scheme of things it was impossible to actually do that and i was doing it solo so but okay. i ended up getting through the game though okay so yeah um so yeah this says the ascent update quietly adds difficulty options on xbox the ascent launched on xbox game pass last week and while players seem to be embracing it it may have noted uh, noted that it's plagued with with a few difficulty spikes. To combat that, the recent patch has quietly added difficulty options to ensure a more balanced experience. So yeah, okay. I actually plan to play that after I finish what I'm playing now. So yeah, uh, Jack, what you playing? What am I playing currently? Um, nothing really. I mean, I beat um, I beat Heavenly Sword like last week. I never wow. played that game. Yeah, that was a good game. I never I beat that either. That's what I'm saying. Like I never beat it before, so I, I went back and played that. That was cool. I liked it. Um, I was playing. I was streaming Persona earlier this week. Persona Five Royal. Uh, I don't oh. know if I want to start a new game because well, it's a lot of games coming out next week. I want to play, but um, you need to give up on know. that. You've been playing that game forever. That's what I'm saying. I thought like you've been I, streaming it for a year. Because I only play it when I stream. But hold on. So you okay? You've beat this already, right? Um, the I the beat normal Persona version, 5, the regular, the regular. One. And you seem to beat that fast. It was because you weren't streaming. I'm guessing you weren't streaming. Of course, it. of course. Okay. Yeah, if I wasn't streaming, I would have been beat that game easily. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't. Is that game really? Are you, are you really enjoying that game right now, though? I like, I like you streaming. Really? You know what's crazy? Like. Them some of my most popular streams, like, but it, but when people watch, like, oh, why are you streaming this? Don't stream this. But I get the most donations. Motherfuckers be active in the chat. People be having a good time when I'm streaming. So I was like, do y'all hate the streams or y'all don't? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's mixed messaging. I don't know, man. Maybe they hate. Maybe you don't have anything to play, Jack. You've been playing. I, got, I, have, a lot of, I have a lot of games. I just don't You've play You've been playing them. a bunch of old ass PS3 games. Yeah. Uh, when <laughs> when I, I saw you. Played. When I saw you playing PS3 games, I was like, "Yo, it's it's it must be bad." I got, out here I got, I got some street. brand new. I got some brand new games that came out. I ain't playing. Nah, it, bro, it, it's bad out here if you playing games like you I literally got, bought. I got Death's Door. I got Death's Door. I haven't played that. I got a lot of new games. I just uh, so why you PS3. why you bought all? Exactly. Yeah, you I got, bought I got, a PS3. I got, Ken, I got Ken on pre order. We got um September. What's that shit? Hades come out in a couple of days on pre order. Like, bro, I got games. It's not out yet. I, but, but I have proven our point right now. You got nothing to play. I play what I choose to play. Jack, don't let them shame me for playing old yeah, games. I play, I play no, 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 no. We ain't shaming him, but I'm confused about how y'all be pl- shaming Xbox fans for <laughs> playing old games. But at least their old games are upgraded. Uh, bro, no, 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 at least we got a fucking mode. exclusive. I don't Xbox fans for playing old games. You playing in their base welfare mode. I oh, guess. God. Oh, man. What's up, Vincenzo? How you doing, bro? Listen, man. If we're going to say PlayStation's dry, then Xbox got to be. You know what I mean? Like, what are we oh, saying? Here? We're not necessarily saying it's dry. I'm saying Jack is is gaming dry right now. Jack is a particular guy, man. He like his type of. You know what I mean? He, he's I, mean I mean, at the Ratchet and Clank, it ain't been shit really to play. Better go out there and get you a slump buster. It's a slump buster. Hey, hey, Blaze, go ahead before you slander Xbox. Go ahead and like introduce yourself for people who don't know, dog. Like. Not me. Everybody know me, man. Cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, you, you got the most clout around here. You know. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, Blaze 4K, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, I got uh, I got the solid cash every other week. Uh, Wednesdays at nine o'clock with my with my guy Solid Rev, Big Cloud. I got RGT on Fridays at five. Um, yeah. Shit, I just realized, Blaze, like, you do you do two podcasts, but like, shouldn't y'all consolidate that into one? You got mm-hmm. most of the same members on it, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro, listen, I told BitCloud he has the B podcast now, and we should put all resources <laughs> into the A podcast. But, yeah, you uh, and BitCloud is half the cast on both of them joints. Y'all might as well. Yeah, yeah. bro, we're really, listen, like, it's at 9 o'clock on a Wednesday, and then I guess it's like, you know, I really get annoyed by a lot of people, you know what I mean? So I, you know, 
It is what mm. it is. And then I got Black Bond saying, oh, you replaced, uh, you got another black guy, you replaced this black guy for another black, I gotta, I gotta listen to this shit like that, come on, man. It's been a running joke for like two years now, Blaze. Mm. Black Bond, I told you. Y'all ain't never Baron, a podcast. Bro, because, you know what it is, Black Bond? It's just, it's so random when we do it, you know what I mean? Sometimes we decide not to do it last second. Like, I don't even promote the cast. And I got to do a better job of that. Man, that's crazy. Like, I tell us what you had Baron on there. I mean, tell then us, again, that's uh, good promotion with the wrestler on there now. Yeah, tell us uh, what you playing, Blaze. What you playing right now? I played uh, the Back for Blood beta, which was, you know, Reverie Game Pass esque. I played uh, X Defiant for an hour. You know about that. We tried that. I, yo, we didn't even get through a full match, and BG's like, I'm going to uninstall on this right now. <laughs> so we didn't get through a full match. It was that bad. Um, but I, you know, I play Road Company, man. That's you know, you guys want to keep joking on Road Company. That's fine. I think it's because you guys can't aim, and you don't like the game. But yeah, man. I'm playing Road Company. Name names. You talking about Jack? No, nah, bro. That's... This is Jack's game. Why Jack doesn't play it's, Road it's Company not, but it's plays not, Uncharted? It's it is Jack. Everything you like about Uncharted and last, it's the exact same game. No, nah, that you shit is it. corner shooter. The game, my dude. Like, no. so was Uncharted. Hey, That's hey, literally, hey, especially I, Uncharted Two. That was corner I shooting. Seen, the I game. seen BG play the game the other day. His movement is way faster than a movement can be with a controller, bro. I think that's why y'all like it. Y'all on PC. Uh, that that uh, Blaze, I use I, controller. I, 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 Blaze, I, I, I cannot, I cannot move like that on no fucking no. Nah, uh, oh, bro, so, I so use you controller? Are you finally admitting that I'm better than you, Jack? Because you've been capping for a while. I don't play that dead ass game, man. No, I'm just talking about in games uh, in general because you've no, been capping no, no, for a no, while. No. Are you better in Rogue Company? Sure. Congratulations. No, I'm better at games in general. But... Uh, well, that's what I right. like. I see you still not letting go of that. You better okay. in Rogue Company. I'm better in everything than you. All right, but bro. We, we ain't going. We ain't going. If, if that would make you sleep better at night, BG, yeah. Just I don't know. You happy? I don't know if BG will admit this, but I use a controller and I feel like I keep up with BG. With he the controller, does. so there's no reason why you can't. J J Jack is, is is just very that, uh. That stiff ass game. Jack <laughs> Jack is just he can Jack can only play a particular type of game. He's not you Roll know well. Company is a bad. It ain't a bad. J it's boring, bro. Jack is not right. well versed in in different types of games. He can only play the same type of game. Bro, you know look, what I'm saying? Look, like, look at. I like how y'all saying it then saying Road Company is just like the games, all the other games I play. But the, if you look at the comment section right now, everybody's saying Road Company is trash, bro. Like, like Jack can't he play can't Halo. He can't play Rogue. He couldn't play Split. Jack can't play not, or, no multiplayer. Like they, to, he I can't. He can't to play. play Battlefield. Can, I'm just keeping bro. it real. You you okay. can name a whole bunch of multiplayer games. Right. Jack can't play it. That's I'm just being real. Yeah, there's no excuse not to get on Battlefield this fall. I'll tell you that right now. If you're I not playing like Battlefield or Halo, then. You know what it is, BG? They look at Rogue Company, they see those goofy ass characters, and they think it's like, oh, a Fortnite clone. Like, if you were to just look at it from the outside, yeah, it looks like a generic. It's just a, st it's a, st it's a stiff ass game, bro. It's definitely more looser than see, a lot of vaginas. Th that's what's crazy. Games. Like, okay, I don't want to keep talking looser about looser than you know, what? Nothing. <laughs> I don't want to keep lingering on Rogue Company. Like, I don't care how people feel about it. But, like, the animations, sure, you could say the animations are stiff, but the movement itself is not stiff at all. Like like Jack said, he saw my movement Thank on that you. game. That movement is is crazy. Your movement has to be great. But anyway, uh, Blandrew, what are you playing? Oh, I've been all over the place. Uh, I'm playing Skyward Sword HD a bit on my Switch. I just beat Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. I'm playing Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2 right now, and then I'm preparing myself for Psychonauts 2 by playing Psychonauts 1, and I'm also playing Super Metroid. So. Okay. Oh, man, you know love your old-ass games, don't you? That's like, uh, that's, that's like, aren't four. you playing Yakuza 4? Yes, I'm trying to actually get up to the newest one. But that doesn't a game mean that I a game that came out in the PS3 generation. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't mean I haven't been. Oh, yeah, that is a whole game. Yeah, yeah. but it's a whole game, man. What's going I'm on? I'm saying bro? that doesn't mean I haven't been Ease Nockstrom. And Cold mean, you, still play, you still playing an old ass game right now, though. I'm trying to catch up to the newest one. Y'all mm -hmm. niggas going back. And, we, and, we, and we're waiting for <laughs> no, the new game to come out. I, I, I literally said I'm, I'm playing Psychonauts to play Psychonauts 2 Skyward okay, Sword. I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. But, Jack, you're just playing old games because you're bored. I'm actually playing old, this series because I want to catch well, I just, up to I the just, newest I, one. I'm, I'm, I'm working my way to play uh, the old Ratchet and Clank games because I just beat the newest one. Uh, mm. Bro, he just got a PS3 back. That's why he's playing it. I know. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he went out and bought a bunch of old shit because he sold yeah. it, and he so had to spend got, more money yeah, on he, it. He got in a time machine and went back ten years. You know like, what? You know what's crazy? What? 
I sold my I sold my PS3 for $112 in 2013 and I bought this new one for $115. Like, Isn't that crazy? Okay. And nigga, yeah, I didn't, so I didn't what? really I didn't really nothing was lost. Nothing was gained. No, no time on. time and energy was lost. Yeah, I lost all lost You having to track it down. And brain cells was lost too. Eight, 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 years, eight years and I lost three dollars. I'll be all right. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want to bring up inflation and everything, then yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm really interested to see you play those original Ratchet and Clank games, uh, Jack, because I think those are far better than the newer ones we've been getting ever since Deadlock came out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check them out, man. Well, the That's Destruction fine. and Crack and Time were cool, but I, I, they, they just didn't match up to the PS, PS2 era for me. Clara's games I've been playing recently. Let's go, let's go check it out. A lot of hentai games. Ease 9, <laughs> not as good. Ease 9 is not as good as Ease 8. Cold Steel 4 was good. I don't know what people were talking about. Talking about that was a letdown. I, I liked it a lot. The Streets of Rage 4 DLC is good. On Yakuza 5, 4, trying to get the Yakuza 5 and 6, I'm like a dragon. And unlike these uh, fly-by-night hour frauds, I do time to time put in some time on Flight Simulator. Mm, talk about it. I, and I don't put things on easy mode. Mm. You're special. No, you're <laughs> special. Hence, you got <laughs> smooth. You literally put the game on special mode, dude. I mean, game. you might as well find a way to use the adaptive controller the way you were playing it. Yo. Wowzers! That might be the, that might be the move. How, how much is it for like a general full setup for the the plane? Three hundred plus. Three hundred. Because I, I want to play Flight Simulator, but I'm playing with the controller just feels like it defeats the whole purpose of the game. Flight 6 will cost you around $80. Throttles will probably cost you anywhere between $150, $200. Pedals can be $100, possibly more. You know, we're in C-Virus pricing as well. So I have a 16,000M. I also have the Airbus Thrustmasters. I have an X56 throttle for the uh, Logitech, and then I also have the full Airbus throttle with the whole side panels and everything. So, yeah, I got everything I need. Flight okay. simulator, that's funny. I mean, <laughs> what's funny about it, Blake? <laughs> if, if, if you're gonna play, you gotta play it. I mean, we're not gonna we're gonna slander Road Company. We're gonna let Flight Simulator like, oh, buy this pedal, I'm buy sl- that. I'm not slandering Road Company. Yeah, that was Jag. That wasn't anybody else. Listen, Fly Summer looks beautiful. It's cool. You can really like fly, you know, but let's be real. It's something you try out unless you're into that type of sim, you know, stuff like yeah. that. Like that's for most people, and, it's a list pattern for like And that's Xbox why I say it's irrelevant to Xbox because these dudes are just using it in list wars. They're not actually playing it. Right. I don't even know if you can buy a flight stick or anything. For the Xbox One right now, or the Xbox you, Series you, X right now, you can, you can. I don't know if it's available now, but they've made. Um, but um, you can't buy it yet. I just can't. I'm just not confirming it. Bro. That would be like the perfect game for a, a VR headset too. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's would see. Be. Oh, outside of that, you know, I'm mean, just permanently banned from the solid cast. You know how it is. On, come on, bro, cut it out. We're gonna get <laughs> yeah. you in there. I don't know how long we'll be on there when I'm blocked by Rev on Twitter. What would you do? I call them balls. I call them balls. <laughs> oh, you know what? I was in the Discord and they said, "Oh, Black Bond was saying, I'm like, yeah, yeah, right, because there's a, you know, somebody else is using your name if you've noticed." Um, but they're like, "Yeah, he told me, you know, Blaze is gonna go ball too. Fuck Blaze. I heard that's what you said." <laughs> I didn't say fuck Blaze. I was joking around. He's probably wearing that hat all the time because he's going bald. Nah, man, I got a full. You know what I mean, I'm good. Think so, please. The, I don't know why these ball jokes be getting to people though. Bond, that's I sensitive mean, subject. Well, they not ball by choice. That's why. <laughs> hey man, short people aren't short by choice. <laughs> I guess. You ain't got nothing nice to say, Bond. You know, you know what the rule is, right? Yeah, I'm glad I don't I got none right. of these handicaps or detriments. I mean, I didn't ask to have messed up teeth <laughs> that I had to get a Visalign for, but I was born with them. Had to fix it. Hey, tell that man go get a toupee or a, a hair yeah. or a wow. hair, uh, man, hair listen, implant. Rev looks like Max Payne, man. He looks fine, bro. You know what I mean, if, listen. They go quick. Cool <laughs> shit, shit, I'm just saying, if at his age, if I can look like Rev, I'll be happy. If at his Word. age, if I can look, bro, he's in better shape than all of you. Just keep oh, yeah. the fuck. 
Sure, he's in better shape, but he's still bald. <laughs> oh man, y'all crazy! Yeah. Hey, man, nah, the real. Man. That, that ruins everything. I'm just being real with you. That ruins everything. Shout the real for me. For me, I don't think it's a big deal. I tell him, but you know, no, he, it's he, not a big deal. But I always make fun of people because I know it gets to them. All right, um, I've been playing. Uh, you know, Death's Door. That's the only thing I've been playing just now. I got a, you know, I got a few games that I'm going to play, but right now, you know, I play one or two games at a time max because you know I, I'm, I'm somebody who actually beats games and I don't jump around and have like 80 uh, games how installed. Many, how, many, how many games you got beat this year, BG? Uh, probably like four or five this year. You're someone rash. That, you're someone that beats games. You got four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, that, that's about how many. For a life altering for, change, Jack. I, yeah, okay. I was busy. I was busy with life. Also, the okay. first half of this year only had four or five games that were good. Like it, it was only in the last like two months where like it started to flow a little bit, sir. You know, I'm not going back to you know consoles from 1984 and buying them and, and playing them just because I'm bored oh, okay, like you. Okay. 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 BG so got what, the what, platinum and Demon Souls, man. Back off. Yeah, don't, yeah, talk, yeah, talk to me with respect, Jack. You don't got that. What four games are these? Uh, <laughs> Resident Evil Village, Returnal, and I don't remember. I don't remember the rest. Demon I, Souls, I Miles Morales. That didn't come out this year, though. That oh, was last year, wasn't it? I don't that know. Was like, I that was last, last year. year. I mean, only five months. Uh, eight months ago. Never mind. It's a year ago. I yeah. can't tell. You know and how there's... I'm counting it as the as the you know the launch. Consoles. Yeah, there's two other games that I beat, and, and uh, but I don't remember what they were. But Jack, don't worry about me. Trust me. Like okay, I'm gonna yeah, be yeah. now that I'm settled and everything. It's just it's just nothing. But so I mean, you games beat four games beat. you don't remember half of them. What the fuck? No, I don't. Um, because you know, like 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 un like unlike other people, I beat games and I move on. I don't let them linger on my my drive. So you you know, you've like completely that? forgotten fifty percent of the game you've done this year. Like, yes, you don't I, jump yes, I have. Around all over the place like other people too. BJ? No, I, I don't. So yes, I forgot him. I forgot him already, Jack, because I have other things going on in life oh, okay. than worrying about the you know all the list of games I beat. You'll you'll oh, okay. get the list. You'll get the okay. list in December. Yeah. Okay, okay. worry okay. about I, that. I hope you remember those two games you beat by the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't no, 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 no. But by December, it's gonna be like twenty something. I mean, you were just something. in here bragging about you know you beating all these games. And it, it, it's it's, you, it's you gonna be it's gonna be like twenty something by that time. You don't you don't worry. No, he he, he didn't no, brag about beating games. He just says he beats the games he plays. He doesn't jump all over the place to have a billion installed. Nah, and if you beat one he, game he, a year, he, that's he, you beat be sixteen Jack. games within the next four months. Okay. Oh, absolutely. That's that's light work. And here's the thing. And here's the somebody, thing, Jack. I'm gonna clip that. Okay. Here's the thing, Jack. The games that the games that are gonna be on my list are gonna be from this decade. How about that? They're gonna be from. Matter of fact, they're gonna be from this year and last year. How about that one? The, the two games you named that you beat, I've already beaten those games. And okay. I got the platinum in one of them. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Nobody cares about you. We talk about okay. me. All right, all right. Jack playing two PS3 games, Persona exactly. and um. Heavenly Sword. Yeah, man, the game you playing not even not not even an HD beautiful. game. What the what did Heavenly beautiful Sword even run at? Beautiful games. Beautiful. That game ran at sub seven twenty p. Damn, y'all don't even think so, Blandrew? Nah, no, BG Heavenly, Heavenly Sword ugly. Let them know, BG. Yeesh. You gave me a list of old games. Tough problem. Speaking of old games, Blandrew, you really went out and spent sixty dollars for a Wii game. Howard Sword. Yeah. Of course, I got the amiibos and I got the Joy Cons oh, as well. Oh my god! Oh man! Digital ass pounding right there! Wow! <laughs> uh, yo, Nintendo See, will never feel this. Is, this is what's ever. crazy to me. Like, yo, I will make fun of the Xbox for them only playing all these old games, but y'all, Sony and Nintendo guys, really going out and buying old ass systems. Going through pawn shops and <laughs> refurbishing to buy old ass shit, and Nintendo fans buying old shit for sixty dollar prices, and y'all got the nerve to be talking about Microsoft people. Who talking about Microsoft though? You know, I mean, every, every time, time, these every time, time and and I, don't, I don't, I don't, I got Game Pass. I don't knock them for playing under. That. Every time a new uh, FPS patch comes out, an update. Who cares? Those games are old, and y'all going out and buying sixty dollar. New Zelda game, old Zelda games that have no enhancements whatsoever. <laughs> they just put a widescreen with HD and maybe 60 frames. The end. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, Bond, the difference is, Bond, they don't, the Xbox has been out for almost a year and they still haven't stuck an exclusive in their drive yet. That's the difference. That's why we say 
Cause then they'll like put up they'll put up FPS boost on Twitter like it's a celebration like something like I don't know what yeah happened. like I like okay. Xbox. Uh, I'm sorry, what's carrying PlayStation for the rest of the year? What was carrying <laughs> Xbox till now? Nothing. Yeah, like hold on. No, <laughs> what what is the problem? problem? But Kiss Moves, oh, no, no, you no. see the problem right there? And no, least no. we've had exclusives though. That's I all was. I'm saying. Yeah, bro. I ain't playing them no more. Move, they you're gonna stop, you're gonna stop this mess right now. Because this has been the same Xbox game plan for the past eight years, and it hasn't worked. Y'all niggas get me. no games till September, and then from September I to November, play, y'all talk a whole bunch of shit, and then y'all have no yeah, more games again until the next said, year, September. You know, played Flight Sim, Death Door. I mean, these, these are games that I've uh, played. So these are indie Xbox. games and games Doesn't you matter, ain't gonna play. Not, not to Doesn't mention matter. that y'all keep releasing at the end of the year, and then the multi that come out be killing y'all games. But, you know, that's yeah, neither here nor right. there. No, Every time, uh, look, look, oh, well, what Sony fans going to be playing or not? They were playing games all year, really? and now they play the big multi during the holidays. Y'all okay. play nothing all year and get the same big multi I got 24 games beat on the year, so I don't know what the hell y'all We don't want to know the list. Don't, exactly. know, don't nobody know ask them. Garbage game. abortion it's games. Over. Okay, sure. Nobody asked him the list, but no, this is some. This is a narrative that keeps getting pushed on Twitter. Every it's year. like, what, 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 get, what game are y'all getting in September? I'm like, what does it matter? What game? What's when the month? What when the game comes out? Like, why do y'all make it seem like it's only four months in a year? It's September to December, and anything that came before that was irrelevant. Like, why do yep, they right. act like that? It, it is. I, but yeah, I was what what is videos stating. I'd rather like have games come out in the summertime, year. bro. I'd rather have games come out right now because there's nothing to play right now. I rather I don't care. September is always busy, no matter what. I rather games come out like now, February, March. Like honestly, I just well, don't just see me. how you cannot have games for nine months of the year. In the last three months, you're gonna brag like you got games nobody else does. Like they still might that. not get nothing. Trust me, they still, they might, still, not still get might not get anything. Okay, I I, <laughs> I, I want to put on record. I want to put on record. Um, I, I still think it's possible that the Halo single player gets delayed and the multiplayer comes out this year. I just want to put it out there in case it happens because I think it's possible. And See, then, I'm worried cool. about all these first-person shooters this fall. Between Bad for Blood, Halo, Death Battlefield, Loop. and Call of Duty, two to three are going to survive. One to two are definitely not making yeah, it. Bad Blood One done, for though. sure is not making it. Yeah, that's bad blood. That's bad bad blood it has the, back the blood. hardest back, chance. Back, 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 back for blood. <laughs> yeah, that has that has the hardest chance. Everything because Halo's free to play. Battlefield is gonna do its thing, and Call of Duty always does its thing. Back as for well, blood so. is probably gonna be on Game Pass also. By the way, Battlefield is more is. endangered. Than, uh, it's probably the second most endangered. Nah, that that game will be fine. I don't know. Unless the they completely botch it at launch and it's just it doesn't work, it should be fine. The last Battlefield was a flop. And then their game after that was Booty Front. I think it'll so. Be fine. You don't know how people are gonna take to the next Battlefield. These um, motherfuckers last time said, "If you don't like our game, don't buy it." And guess what? People didn't do. They didn't buy it. Oh, I didn't even get to finish talking about what game I was playing because you know Jack Jigglypuff Johnny in- rudely interrupted I, me. I just, I just asked how many games you beat this year. And you got offended. Okay. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, yes, I'm playing Def- Death's Door and. You know, I think it was last week or the week before we asked Kid Smooth to, you know, give us a summary and description of the game. And I ain't going to lie to you, Smooth. That description was terrible. It you was know, terrible it was... because I did like when you by time. Here's the thing is my game, my experience, time with Death uh, Door got cut short because I was got got early access to freaking the Ascent. So I've only, like Death Door was the better game. You should have stuck with that. Ah. Uh... I but, prefer um, a game like The Ascent, but yeah, overall, it was a better game. Yeah, it was more polished, so, and yeah, yeah. I, so here's the thing. So Death's Door is, is fantastic, right? So it's like this 3D top-down Zelda-like action-adventure game. It's made by Acid, Acid Nerve. Uh, the publisher is Devolver Digital. I don't know if Acid Nerve has made any other games with the games. I'm not Titan, familiar. Titan Souls, Titan Souls. Oh, they made that? Okay, cool. So yeah, this game is, is really fun. Um, so pretty much you play a crow. And it's like you, you, the crows are called reapers and you pretty much uh, work for like an office that is responsible for leading souls to the afterlife. So you're kind of like they're kind of yeah, pretty much the grim reaper. Right. And, um, you know, you got different weapons, projectiles, magic, you know, dodging kind of plays like almost like almost like a 2D Zelda like souls game. That's kind of pretty much how, how it plays like that's the best. Uh, description of it um 
But here's the thing about this, right? Because I think like this game could be like in the best indie of the year category at the end of the year. But I be so with the definition of indie games, right? It seems like an indie game could have a publisher now and still be considered an indie. Of course. Yeah, so like, here. yeah. So so like, what's the real definition of indie anymore? As long as it's made by, I guess, an independent studio that that that's not owned, I, even if you have a publisher. Yeah. So independent and develop. Two people yeah, made it. You know, two people made the game, BG. Oh Not man, that's job. putting a lot of studios to shame then. Yeah. You hearing this Jack move? Hey man. All this trash in indies when it pertained to PlayStation saying, I don't care about those games. I just want the big budget games. And all of a sudden, he's loving this death story <laughs> right now. Wait, who said that? Who said that? When no, it I never said to that. Jim Ryan and Andy never said that. being mad at PlayStation. Never, never said that. BG, I, I was playing Monster Hunter Rise during this I time. I was fighting I never said that. I, okay. I can we'll find I, it. This is, what, this is why I, 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 I you know, I, I'm glad Butch is around because he's the Weapon Will historian. He can find the episode where I said, the reason I don't like a lot of indie games is because of their budget. They seem to go after the same genre, right? I don't, I like action adventure games like this, but indie games tend to be other genres. I, I like, like, I like it's action adventure I'm fine with, but like a lot of these other indie games, they tend to go for something, something else. And that's why I tend not to like them. Because they seem to be on a budget, so they go for some off the wall type genre, some some nonsense. Jack, what's name name me some nonsense you be playing that you know I wouldn't like? Great games. Uh, Shantae is a great game. Uh, That's well, the Shantae I would actually play. There's some other indie games I would never touch. I can't I think know. of one right now though. Yo, y'all, would you play y'all Hotline Miami? The Miami? Three? I like. I be Hotline Miami, the first one. It was made by two people too. Hotline Miami. So, so it, it's not indie. Like I said, I can't remember what episode it was, but it's it's not indie games. It's the indie game genre that they tend to lean towards because they're indie and they have like some type of limited budget. So they're like, oh, I'm going to go with this. That's my problem and, with indie didn't games. Didn't you beat Salt and Sanctuary? games and isometric yeah. style games. Yeah, I beat Salt and Sanctuary. It's, I beat, That's um, made by one person, literally. I, I beat uh, Aragami. That's an indie game. Love that. That pretty much plays like Tenchu. I have nothing against indie games. I just hate that they tend to a lot of them tend to tend, tend to be lame genres that I don't like. I don't care if those genres were were triple A. I still wouldn't play them. I'm going to let this slide for now, but I will go back and listen to the audio. Yeah, you can you can go find it. Hey man, I'm 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 solid about mine. I know what I say. I just need to know why you're still spending $60 on old ass games. It's the great game. Don't you already own it on the Wii? I don't own it on the Switch in HD in 60 frames oh, a second. Oh, God, that's crazy. I don't get a problem with that. If Killzone 2 got remastered in HD, I'm buying it tomorrow. But so Killzone 2 actually has a multiplayer component. Uh, but still, it's not the point. Like, uh, Resistance Skyward, or whatever. Skyward Sword. Yo, you know what the craziest thing about Skyward Sword is? That motherfucker Baron was on the Game Awards in the crowd and never even beat the damn game. <laughs> <laughs> like, this was the most fraudulent thing in the history of YouTube. Talking mm. about game of the generation and all this bullshit. Motherfucker never even beat the game. Tragic. I thought that was for like Mario Galaxy or something. Nah, that was Zelda. Oh, okay. Okay. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about uh, let's let's get this out the way the way first. Uh usually we don't talk about movies, but you know, since we're we don't have a bunch of topics, talk about Suicide Squad or the Suicide Squad. Um, now, Jack is about to, you know, do the old gluck gluck on this movie. Uh, I'm no. going to show you that right now. I don't have an uh, opinion on this movie. Didn't you watch it? You said you liked it. Yeah, I watched it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. That's my okay. opinion. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I would <laughs> I would say James Gunn is is very talented. Give this man his roses because, you know, he took uh, what was a complete trash of the first movie and this is technically a sequel. I thought this was a reboot, but they're actually acknowledging the first movie. They just still gave it the technically the same title. I thought it was like a almost like a reboot sequel, but it, no, it's it's an actual like sequel sequel also. But um, James Gunn did his his thing with, with this, right? Um, the first half was very entertaining. It's it's not one of those movies that's you know very. It's goofy. It's extremely violent. It's gory. Uh, you know the performances by Idris Elba. Are, are good and uh margot robbie you know you expect um you know 
great things from them. Um, and of course, they use obscure characters from DC. DC. That's mainly what Suicide uh, Squad is. And you know, the first half I thought was 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 good. It was surprisingly started off well. And I'm like, it's probably going to fall off in the second. But it, it fell it off stayed... in the, the three quarters in. But it finished strong. Yeah, it did. In in like the middle towards going to the last part, it was like a little bit you know off. But they recovered. It's it's an enjoyable movie. I, I gave it like a seven seven point five. Uh, which is much better than the original, which I'll probably give like a four or a five, something like that. Um, like I like the the villain, you know, it was it's an obscure villain somewhat. But if you watch, you know, even S- Superman animated series and a bunch of others, you've seen this villain before. I don't want to, you know, put any spoilers out there. Um, well, the main yeah, villain. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I mean, everybody Batman knows who it is. Like the first character the Justice League ever fought in the comics. But yeah, but people don't know that though. People, I'm gonna call him Patrick. People don't <laughs> know. People don't know Patrick like that. I know him. He's, I mean, he's been in the animated series and he's been as a, in a few other like, things. Calling him but, Patrick is already a spoiler. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, but you said he's in the trailer, right? Yeah, he is. Okay. Well, yeah, then people know who it is. Um. Yeah, and, and going and into I, the movie, I knew that he was going to be the end guy. Yeah, me too. And when I when I saw uh, John Cena as Peacemaker, I was like, man, it's going to be so trash. And especially because they're they're going with a lot of like these uh, outfits that are um, authentic, you know, real to the comic books and things like that. And and they look bad. I mean, some of them yeah, look bad do. in the comic books, but I'm like, they look bad in, in in live action. They look even worse in live action. But I'm like, after I saw him, I'm like, this doesn't even bother me no more. Um, and I, and I, you know, I liked, I liked most of the characters. I, I will say that. Um, even for some reason, I didn't even, even mind Polka Dot Man. I'm like, how, how did you, yeah, how, I'm like, yo, James Gunn is doing his thing. Cause it's like, I'm thinking like a lot of these dudes are going to bother me because you know how stupid they are. And it, James Gunn somehow figure out a way that I at least don't mind them. So I enjoyed that. I mean, have, have you seen John Cena wrestle before? So, you know, it shouldn't bother you what he's wearing in that movie. Well, the only thing that didn't make sense in the in the movie was Ma, was uh Mongal. She was should she would have been way stronger. Like that the Mongols are like Kryptonian strength. And uh I, I was mad that Mr. Australia didn't make it. Hmm. I like Boomer. The first one was so bad, you know, when I wa- when I went into the movie I had such low expectations that um, you know, that I thought it was actually okay. Just because the first one was so bad. So I let's, thought it was all right. Let's talk about how James Gunn literally rehabilitated Harley Quinn's character at their Birds of Prey. Nobody even watched that movie. <laughs> I, I watched it on uh, HBO Max because it was up there. I don't, I, don't, I don't even remember it anymore. But yeah, it was kind of mid. Pretty mid. Um. And uh, I, I do want to say, like, I think they gave the the original director of uh, su- the first Suicide Squad, didn't they say they gave him like five weeks to make to to finish that movie or something like that? Because like they had switched a whole bunch of directors. I don't know. I, I don't think it was all his fault, but movie still ended up pretty bad. Um, Who is the woman that plays Waller? She was made for that. Viola oh, Davis. God damn. Yeah, yeah. Viola Davis is an amazing Amanda Waller. I mean, even in the first movie, she was probably the best part of the first movie. She, yes. she, even though Amanda Waller is bigger, um, you know, she still looks. She she looks like Amanda Waller if she lost weight. If Amanda Waller lost weight, she talks before, like Amanda Waller. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, she talks like Amanda Waller. She got the same attitude. She's bro. She's made to play Amanda Waller, bro. Like she is really good with that. Um, yeah. I like you know it was a good movie. Anybody got any other thoughts on it? The Rat Girl. That's a power. Mm hmm. See the, the Rat Cat. So there's a there's several villains with rat powers in DC. And I, because there's the Rat King, right? If I'm not mistaken, there's the, there's a character called the Rat King, but this is this is different. Like this is Rat Catcher's daughter, or something like that. I think I'm, not, I'm sure. not really familiar with the character, to be honest. Yeah, I remember in Batman Beyond, there was like a rat guy. That's what I'm thinking of, and I think his name was Rat King. 
And they're saying that this is supposed to be Rat Catcher's daughter, but I'm like, is Rat Catcher different from Rat King? I'm, I can't remember. But yeah, her, she was pretty cool. And of course, they had um, King Shark in there, who was kind of like just a, you know, a meathead. You know, he was kind of just a brute meathead, you know, Nanawe. So, I mean, he, he, he played his role. And who, who voiced him again? Wasn't it uh, Sil- Sil- yeah, it was Sylvester Stallone? I think they, that voiced him. That's who he was, because I remember seeing his name in the beginning credits, but I didn't know who he played. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the movie, movie was solid. Jack, thoughts? You, you had something to say on Twitter? It's a cool movie. I like it. Oh, okay. You, you said it was better than any Marvel movie, also. I, I did not say that, actually. Well, what did you say? What did I say? I believe I said it was more enjoyable than most Marvel movies that I've seen. Is what I said. Okay. And yes. you've seen you've seen almost no Marvel movies, but you know who cares? According to you, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. <clears throat> it's, it's funny because a lot of people actually agree with my sentiment that are huge mm-hmm. Marvel fans. So. Right. But right. then you know you got the, the MCU fucking dick eaters came out of nowhere. Uh-huh. You want time hard that y'all had to uh-huh. show up and pull out your shields. Like, you know how you get, bro. That's like, uh, a, like when somebody just damn you do like a bail go off in your house, BG, like, you gotta, you gotta jump up out your bed and go defend it on Twitter. That's crazy. Right next you're, to his PlayStation bell. <laughs> you're a real bozo, Jack. You know that? Who the fuck disrespected him to you? Why am I You're here? a real bozo. Because like I said, like, for some reason, you'll watch any other, you know, low quality, low hanging fruit trash but suddenly, when it comes to Marvel movies, you turn into well, Roger and Roger and Ebert. <laughs> like, this, is, Ebert. this is the this is the Marvel dick eating Avenger uh, uh, starter pack. Right? Right? Starter pack. Well, you haven't even seen any of the movies, have you? Which ones have you seen? And then you name the movies you've seen. Well, that's agreed upon that that's one of the worst movies. It, it was before Dipty Doo Billy Bob came along, and then you name some more movies. Well, yeah, that wasn't the greatest either. And oh, I had one time sit down and go over every Marvel movie that he liked. This man says seventy five percent of the movies was mid to trash, but it's a great series. Like, shut up, bro! Y'all sound silly. And this oh, is my thing, man. right? I'm not a movie expert. I'm not a, a film. You official. act like it. But yeah, the thing, is, but the thing is, y'all are heavily critical of certain movies, and then you will sit down and turn your brain off and put it in your asshole to watch a Marvel film. What? Right? I don't get it. Mortal Kombat, y'all was all critical of Mortal Kombat. That movie was uh, trash. No, you, well, I thought it was a good movie. These, it came was a, a third generation Shaolin monk, so he wouldn't have. What the fuck? But you will watch Iron no. Man do all this dumb shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. What bro. are you, Jack? What are you Iron talking Man about? That, makes sense. That, that, com- that, about, that comparison made no sense, Jack. You don't know what you're right. talking about. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. Yes, bro, we know, this is why Jack bro, said we, I don't have no opinion on it. Bro, like we weren't asking. Bro, we weren't asking exactly, for a exactly, whole lot. Exactly. Bro, hold on, Jack. We're not asking for a whole lot in the Mortal Kombat movie. You, you don't know about Mortal Kombat, so you probably don't understand all the nonsense. I, 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 have, I have a decent knowledge on Mortal Kombat. So, so cool. you, so you saw, you so you saw the the character that they completely made up that has no background in Mortal Kombat that literally grew that plot, plot armor. Device. That was a plot he, device. He grew plot armor on his skin. You see that. Okay. Bro, niggas right. was over here criticizing LeBron James acting on Space Jam too. He was literally acting most of the time with nobody in a room with him. This nigga yeah, is six too. foot eight. This nigga is six foot eight, and he got to pretend he's talking to fucking three foot tall Looney Tunes characters. You I wouldn't told, have been I, able to act in that I situation. Said, I, I, I said guarantee. those people are idiots too. Those like, people that's what are, I'm saying, are idiots. Bro, niggas, niggas giving these dissertations about why LeBron was he wouldn't have talked to his actual sons that way, and would Bugs Bunny really run everybody? What the fuck are you talking about? He's playing basketball with fucking Looney Tunes characters. He was so <laughs> critical on this, but this Mar- Marvel can do whatever the fuck they want, and you love it. You never criticize it. As a matter nope. of fact, people that love the MCU stay talking about how the mid and shit the movies is, but if you say it, you're the bad guy. You know oh, what you Jack really sounds like? Get out of here. Get you know what Jack here. sounds like? He sounds like an Xbox fan criticizing PlayStation when it comes no, to the it, it just it is what it is. <sighs> well, um, Smooth, Blanger, did y'all see the movie? Nah, not yet. I actually did enjoy the original Suicide Squad, though. I didn't think it was the most amazing film, but I did enjoy it from beginning to end. I mean, Diablo, I like Diablo in it. Uh, Will Smith is, you know, Deadshot was good. Uh, Margot Robbie was Margot Robbie. I mean, but it was really the yeah. story. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not really hard to please when it pertains to movies. I'm I'm usually enjoyed by them. It's, it's also, you know what else is also frowned upon? It's also frowned upon to say you like DC movies. 
Yep, yep, besides, that's another one. Like Batman the, and shit like that. Those X Men no, movies too, Jack. Aquaman, movies? the first Wonder Woman. Wonder Aquaman Wonder is movie. great. Yeah. People roast mm-hmm. No, people get mad as fuck when you say you like a DC movie, yo. Yeah. Nah, nah. People Only the bad ones. People clowning Joker. Joker was a great movie. People was clowning. Yeah, that movie. people. Mm-hmm. people were not clowning I did not Joker see nobody sad. clown yeah, Joker. Yeah, you yeah, lying. Yeah, you yeah, you're just making stuff up now. You making stuff up now. Nobody clown Joker. Okay. You making stuff up now. Ain't nobody clown no Joker movie. I'm sitting there pretending you. No, but yeah, they, were, they were saying, they were saying, they were saying that was they were lied to. It was one of the most boring films they've ever sat through. They were hoping for like uh, destruction and matter, chaos matter for the whole. Matter I saw fact, no such thing. To, Marvel is the equivalent of, and when it comes to movies, Marvel is the equivalent of PlayStation. Xbox is the equivalent of DC. You really can't. It's not popular to say you like DC in the film space. It's just not unless you're talking about them Nolan Bro. Batman movies. You cannot say you like a lot of the movies and this not get cat. ridiculed, bro. This is cat. Most people, no, it's most people, true. That's yeah. This is cat. Most no, because there's no, there's, there's a lot of bad. There's a lot of bad DC. Listen, there's a lot of bad DC movies. Okay, look, Man of Steel. Most people praise it. Wonder Woman, no, they, same thing. Aquaman, bro, same bro, thing. Man of, Man of Steel has a strong like hatred towards it. I didn't get it, and bro, like even when I finished Blandrew, the movie, I was like, Blandrew, this is pretty cool. Blandrew, Blandrew. Blandrew. Okay. If I came here and said I like Aquaman, Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, the first Suicide Squad movie, Justice League, and Batman vs. Superman, I said, I don't really fuck with uh, the MCU like that. Y'all niggas would be on my ass right now. Just don't. Just don't like it. Just just leave was the bad one. Throw up a poll. How you like how you like all them shitty superhero movies, but you don't like MCU Jack move? What the fuck? This is why I don't listen to your opinions on movies. Do y'all be doing that right Jack, now? You saw how they came at me when it pertained to the X-Men movies when I tried to make a case for Dark Phoenix? They pounced on me. No, 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 no. Oh, Jack, no, no, no. Blandrew, Blandrew, don't Dark do that. You know Phoenix? exactly. Dark Phoenix was horrendous. Oh, my goodness. You know what? It's because of Dark Phoenix that Marvel had to wait to re-debut the X-Men because they have to wait till that taste gets out of everybody's mouth. Mm-hmm. Throw up a bro, bro BG. Well, I don't even know what I'm asking at this MCU point. MCU is way more popular than DC. It is. The only one, yeah, the, like, like Jack said, the only movies you get a pass for is The Dark Knight, bro. but outside of that, they're they're here to happen. get you if you say y'all anything look, about the look other look guys. BG, tell me, tell me, I'm like, if somebody like any other, any other outside of the Batman movies, if somebody like one of those DC movies or love one of those DC movies, imagine I came here and said I love Shazam, but I don't fuck with none. Well, of I was DC about movies. to say people did like Shazam. That's what I'm saying. What are y'all talking but, about? But no, but Bro. you're not listening to what I'm saying. If I say I like that movie, but don't like any other MCU movies, you would be on my ass. No, I wouldn't. If you if Shazam, you said Shazam, if, if Shazam you is told a very me, MCU type movie, if you so. told me you like Justice League but don't like Avengers, I'm absolutely on you because Justice League was mid. Or if you told me you like Batman versus Superman but you don't like other Marvel movies, then I'm getting on you. But if you told me you okay, like Aquaman, okay, Shazam, Wonder Woman, I'm like those are great bro, movies. Bro, Tony Polanco, Tony Polanco tweeted out that he liked the Suicide Squad more than either of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. You would have thought this man got on there and denounced everybody that wasn't him. Like, bro, niggas was on his ass. Because yeah, that's a pretty bad take. That's a pretty bad opinion. It's a pretty bad opinion. It's a pretty bad opinion. Wait, it's like Wonder Woman? It's a, opinion, bro. it's a pretty bad opinion. Wonder Woman, you know, the first Wonder Woman. Suicide Squad is not better than Guardians. Let's be real. It's not. Well, that's, it, how, it's that's, not. How, he, that's how he felt. Like he, that's how he felt. Y'all, he, y'all, listen, y'all listen, crucified some how he felt. That's there was some blood and gore, and he, he probably was like, you know, entertained by that. I'm gonna be real with you. That's that's probably what it was. But one listen, hold on, Wonder, hold on. I'm not every, we're not gonna do we not gonna let no, we're not finna we're not finna let an MCU fan say that people are dumbed down with their entertainment. That's what what we not finna do, okay? One listen, <laughs> listen. Everybody okay, so why does every I've never seen nobody said the first Wonder Woman movie w- was was bad. Everybody liked the first Wonder Woman movie. The second one, everybody said it was garbage because it was. It had nothing to do with is DC or not. What, like they're they're just bad movies. Wonder Woman two was horrible. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. Which was like I'm, I'm I don't understand because Wonder Woman one was so good. Look, this is my thing though, right? A lot I'm of people you, that Jack. was on, a lot of people that was on Tony asked. I guarantee they haven't even seen the Suicide Squad. The 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 notion, right? You cannot have a notion that a DC movie that doesn't in- heavily involve Batman is better than any MCU movie. It's just people are not going to allow it. Off Black the cuff, Widow, they, or no, I'm they, sorry, White Wife wasn't good. It wasn't. I saw that too. I didn't like it. But according to you, Jack, everybody should have been proclaiming well, no, that it was what I, what, I, what, I, what I'm saying is, people don't even. 
it's people that when you mention the MCU, you can't say nothing bad about it. It's just it is what it is. Like like I said, y'all are literally like the retarded Avengers. That's what I call y'all. Y'all are the retarded <laughs> Avengers. Like when the, your fucking Down syndrome go off when you hear a nigga mention the MCU in a bad light and you drool and trying to defend this shit. It's uh, he's definitely right about that. There's, it might not be you, but the majority of people do. There's hits that. and misses. What I will say, there are there are hits and misses in the entire MCU timeline as far as the movies go, but collectively. Collectively, well, it's overall, amazing. Yeah. Jack, it's amazing I collectively. Try hard into trying to like obscure shit. And and, and Jack, you're not I into Marvel. Like, no, out, hold like, outside like, of the like, movie. Like, okay. Outside of the movies, Jack, are you even into Marvel like that? Like outside of the movies. I like I like I like, like Spider Man. See, but th- that's my point. You're not like a Marvel fan like that. And I want just, well, I don't. I don't a huge fan of Disney Spider Man movies. So, so yeah. you, but you can't. So you can't. Appre- I don't think you can appreciate what the MCU is as a whole. That's the None thing. Of, most if the, if the movies are actually good. I would like them. I, wait, I, wait, I, wait. I but hold on. Most of the people that got into Marvel via the MC universe, they're not really Marvel fans like that either. Yeah, that's a, that's true. Because I'm not. Bro, I'm Marvel is the popular thing to like, bro. If you don't like it, you're a weirdo. It's, you like you only like good. obscure shit. You're a loser. You're a DC fan. But like, it's just a whole bunch of dumb shit, bro. I, we the, ain't got the, time the, right the, now. But the, I, the, I, the, I, the, if we had time, the, I could run down. The, I could run down all the the, the good the, ones and like like the, the the thing is, there's only like very hey, few BG, like BG, horrible BG, ones. BG, go through every single MCU movie and TV show and tell me which ones you like. If it's over uh, 50%, as far, you as, got as, it. As, as far as the TV shows, the TV shows, WandaVision. No, 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 no. Start, start, start from the oh very beginning. Are we going to do this? Right, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Hold on. Let me pull it up. MCU. Go, in, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and be, let be let completely me, honest. Let and let me, we already know Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is the best MCU movie. It's I'm pulling it up. Oscar worthy. We got it. We got all I'm pulling up on my phone. I'm pulling up on my phone. Let's see if I man. Come on, man. Because there's a lot of cap going on around this motherfucker, dog. Hold on. Let me see. Pull it up and cry. Well, I'm like order. eight fucking MCU movies out of like 32, and this nigga up here defending. All right, okay. Stupid first, f- first, Ca- Captain America, First Avenger. That movie's good. That's a good movie. They played it safe a little bit. That's, that's, not, the, that's not the first movie. In the MCU. Okay, go ahead. And, no, I'm, go- I'm going in chronological order of like how, how it actually. Oh, okay, happens. cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not, not, not release. Uh, Captain America, The First Avenger. That was a good movie. They played it safe, but I rewatched it. I pretty much rewatched all of these with my wife because she's going through them like just like a month ago. So it's fresh in my mind. Look, look, that was okay, that was just, a good just, movie. Just say, just, say, just, say, just say WRL if you fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Fresh. WRL. Yeah, Captain America, First Avenger, W. Captain Marvel, L. L. Iron Man, W. W. Iron Man 2. I'm gonna give it, I'll give it, I'll give it an L, even though it had good parts. Uh Iron Man 3. That's a W. L. That's to me, to me, no. that's a W. I like Iron, Iron Man 3. Is an L. <laughs> I like Iron, Iron Man, Man 3. Like Iron Man 3 yeah, okay. I, I know, I know most people do, but I liked it because to me it was good because the action was good and you actually got to see Tony Stark like use his genius instead instead of using his This like, is BG's list, guys. Don't forget. Th- yeah, this is my list. I, I liked it because he got to he got to use his intelligence instead of relying on his suit for one movie. So I like that part of it. Uh, okay. Avengers. Uh-huh. Avengers, that's a W. Thor. I'll give that an, I'll give Thor one an uh 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 let me let me think about it. Oh, man, that's I'm gonna give Thor. I'm gonna give Thor one a W. Uh, Yeah, Thor. Thor two is an L, but I'm gonna get to that. So Thor one is a W. The the Incredible Hulk. I'll give that. I would give that a W. Is that with uh, Norton? Yes, against uh, um, Abomination. That's Um, a W. Yeah, I'll give that a W. Thor Dark World. I'll give that an L. Um, Captain America Winter Soldier. Big W. Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Big W. Uh, mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy Two W, not nowhere as good as the first one, but still a W. Uh, we're okay. We're going down. Avengers: Age of Ultron, absolutely still a W. Not as it's it's it's. I like it's it's okay. like it's hard to compare it to the first Avengers, but uh, it's, it's definitely a W if without a doubt. If you watch that movie, you'll notice all the mass foreshadowing yeah. for the later movies. It's yeah. wild. Um, Ant Man W. Like w. I don't know, I don't know why okay. people like seem to not give Ant Man series credits, but those movies are good to me. Um, Ant Man W, Captain America Winter Soldier, big W, Doctor Strange, You're big W. w. Um, okay. Spider Man Home, Spider Man Homecoming. I give that an L. I hate the first Spider Man. Really? I don't like. I hate them. I hate them. 
I, I, I hate Spider-Man Homecoming. Black Panther, W. Thor Ragnarok, big W. Uh, mm. Avengers Infinity War, big W. Ant-Man that's, and the Wasp. I think that's the best movie. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp, W. Avengers Endgame, big W. Like, what are we talking? Like, bro, I gave like four movies an L. It's Wait, crazy because War been, is better than Endgame. You guys, I've been seeing a lot of people come out and make a case about how they don't like Endgame after you know the yeah, smoke I is don't. settled. Yeah, I don't. Endgame is not as good like, as Infinity War. Yeah, but it's, it's still a. Not. It's not bad though. That's the thing. Like, but, no, it's not a bad movie. But yeah. do you know why? Here, here's the reason why people don't like it, and this goes with any media. No matter how you end something, people will always disagree with how it ends. Whether it's, it's not even Naruto, that one. Dragon Ball, Game of Thrones, the ending is never the best part about a series because you have to wrap everything up, and it, there's really no way to ever properly wrap everything up. Like, name me anything that has a great ending. Uh, name me something. Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, that wasn't a problem to me. It was just you know. So, so out of all these Superman movies, Jack, down I, I gave like three or four movies an L. And it's like more than twelve movies. Like I don't I, for 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 amps for amps you apologize. You do like okay. You say you like most of the movies. Good job, BG. Now, if we went over all the DC movies, I bet you we'd have yeah. more L's and W's. Absolutely. Oh, well, of course, I, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. So, then what's your overall point? My overall point is 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 even even the good movies though, like Birds of Prey. I saw Birds of Prey. It stop. I, I thought it was a decent movie to the third stop act. I did. This. I thought it was a decent movie to the third stop act. Stop this. But if, oh, if but you exactly, know what you see, if you, you know what the bird if right? you if you know because because listen, I know who the Birds of Prey are. I like those characters. I like so those. Bro, do, bro, Jack, do you know who the Birds of Prey are? Like the characters themselves. After watching the movie, I look I, exactly. I said, that's my point, Jack. Movie, you don't know anything about cool the characters. Like, the movie was cool for like an hour and a half. Oh and then man, I, I, don't, I didn't really bro, like it after that. Jack, you, Jack, what? Black Can- Black Canary is literally one of the best martial artists in the DC universe. You would not know that from watching that movie. She's the best. like, what is, yo, she can kick Batman's ass. You wouldn't know Bar- that. Barbara Gordon wasn't like, even in the movie, was she? What? Barbara Gordon wasn't even in the movie, was she? I don't think so. Like, bro, why is there so many BG? Why? Why is there so many people in the chat saying Birds of Prey is a great movie? Why, bro, why there so it, bro, movies? Black Canary could possibly beat Batman. I don't think she threw oh, a I'm punch saying, in I'm that saying, movie. I'm saying, I'm saying, you see how quick you shut me down, but people are in the oh, chat. Oh man. Saying, Bro, Harley bro. Quinn was never even in Birds of Prey either. That's what's even funny. They just forced her in there. Bro, like, who who are the other? I don't even remember who the other Birds of Prey. I was just so mad that, like, Black Canary, one of the greatest martial artists, mar- martial artists in DC, was pretty pretty much through almost no punches, and she screamed, like, once and at the end of the blind. movie. I'm like... Oh. It's, man, don't don't get me started with that. He did almost call the chat idiot. Y'all peeped that, right? He did almost call y'all idiot. Nah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm glad y'all peeped it. <laughs> I'm not mad, bro, bro. How how if you know the, these characters and how they're supposed to be, I don't know how you could like Birds of Prey, knowing who these characters are and what they're supposed to be. I mean, different iterations, man. Different iterations. Man, yeah. get that trash. Listen, and and it's and you can't say you can't say like, oh, I don't hold the same energy for D. For uh, Marvel, because that's why I hated Black Widow. Look what they did to Taskmaster. They, I can't spoil it, but Jack, pretty much what they did to Black Canary in DC, they did the they did the same thing to Taskmaster, and that's why I hated that movie. It was trash. The Taskmaster, oh, that was brutal. Not, not, no speaking lines. It was a chick. Like, oh man. They 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 deadpooled, and I'm talking about like Deadpool and X Men Origins. They deadpooled uh, Taskmaster. Like, come on, man, come on, bro. There we can we can move on. I don't want to hear from you about this no more, Jack. Interesting. Uh, uh, on a on a different note, um, where are we gonna go to? So uh, okay, so X Defiant. So X Defiant. We can't really talk about it because um, it's we I mean, I got I got into the beta or out whatever the hell it is. And I signed an NDA. Yeah, it's an NDA. You can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't talk about it. So So this is going to be a topic. topic. What 
the no, fuck? because like, if, why are you if, making if, a talk? No, hold on, no. I can I can talk about it without talking about it. All I need to say is I uninstalled the game after as Blaze said, I uninstalled the game after one match, right? I want y'all to take take all the insults you've heard me say about other games and just apply it to that. That that's that's what you need to know about th- that game. That's that's so without me break, breaking any NDAs. They block your recording software. There's like big messages that pop up like don't show the like they should have as many people as possible playing this and, and but hey. And it, and here's the thing. I mean, they ain't watching they ain't watching our podcast. So I I'm not, I'm also not worried. Um right. but right. Vic Vic showed me yo Vic showed me this, right? In the in the NDA it literally says that they don't want you to play with your window open and close your shades. If, right, right. Oh it, my it, god. I, right. This this is not cap. I I thought Vic was joking when he showed me this. They want you because they want to make sure nobody possibly sees this game that's not in the beta. They say please close your windows. Close you know close your shades. They say I think it said don't invite anybody else over to your house. Make sure no one's in the room. Shut your shades. Are you kidding yes. me, dog? Get this shit out of here, man. I'm like, are these dudes That's insane? That's creepy, bro. That's weird, bro. Uh, I don't... Yeah, wait, is, it, in this case, is it that big of a deal? It's not. It's uh, not. You would think y'all was playing Grand Theft Auto 6 or something like that. That's crazy, right. bro. Yo, if it was GTA 6, I would be like, yeah, you're right. All right, let me close Bro, it. if it was GTA 6, I'm like, I'm, I'm kicking, I'm putting black blackout shades up and everything. Like Facts, speaking yeah. of uh, Grand Theft Auto, did you hear it might come to the Switch? Yeah, right. Yeah, Dr. oh yeah, one eighty p. Doctor Trey yeah, could be that. right after eight years. Which one? GTA Five? You mean? Yeah. Oh well, I don't know why they would do that at this point. I mean, That's nine million, so nine million, million people on that system. Some people would buy it at this point. They're just trying to pad their stats to see if they can get the record. Yeah, that shit's yeah. gonna run flawlessly on the Switch, man. I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, it, it should run flawlessly on the Switch. It ran on a 360 and a PS3. Bro, that's what you think, man. But, like, I'm telling you, dude. I'm saying it <laughs> should. Yeah. Um, oh, people, we were talking about X Defiant, which we can't actually talk about because it's NDA. All we, all, like I said, we're gonna get off the topic now. But all you need to know is I uninstalled the game after. I know I played two games, actually, because that was the second one I played with Blaze. Um, and I uninstalled it after a second game. Um, that, that's all you need to know. And we're going to move on. Okay. Let's, let's talk about the better beta that happened, like, at the same time. Um, Back for Blood. Yeah. So I'm, I'm impressed by Back for Blood, right? I, I enjoyed it. And um, I'm not a fan of the horde shooters. Everybody knows that. I'm usually not a fan of the horde shooters. They, they typically bore me. Uh, because you know, it's, it's typically like shooting fish in a barrel It you know, it's usually not satisfying and back for blood just feels still feels fun. I, I think it's because I enjoyed the guns. I think the guns feel, yeah. feel good. It's, it's, it's good sound, uh, gun sound. Um, I do wish there was dis uh, limb dismemberment with the zombies. You know, that would be Facts. great if like limbs could come off. The heads do explode though. I, I believe. Um, so I think I get satisfaction out of that. Um, they have corruption cards that are pretty much like level modifiers. They make the levels harder. Uh, you have uh, you have you also have active cards. Those are to like buff your character. and You get to choose one per level. Um, this is made by Turtle Rock Studios, the same dudes who made Evolve and some of the same developers who made uh, Left Left for Dead. So this is a Left for Dead spiritual successor. Uh, the game runs really well. You know, especially for beta, it runs ran flawlessly for me. Um, and I, by the way, I sold my 3090, if people don't know. So I was using a 30. Why? Set. Bruh, I, I'm going to be real with you. Somebody offered me a, somebody gave me an offer. I could not refuse. This this How person much? wanted, it, it It was like 23. Damn. Yeah, they they How gave me an offer. How much that 3070 Ti run, run you? Oh, the, so the 3070, I got Ti. I managed to get it for like nine hundred, so that's still like crazy for a thirty seventy Ti. It was like a, it, I think it it might have came up to like near a thousand, but it was like a little bit over nine hundred. But that's either awesome. way, I did, did the you math get the and 30, I thirty ninety for. Bruh, listen. You know why I got the thirty ninety? stunt. That's it. You know why I got? Listen. <laughs> so, so no, 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 stunt. No, I said, what did you get it for? Like as in price, price retail? Price, 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 oh, 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 oh. 
What? Well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I got it at the retail price when it first came so out. So yeah. at the end of the day, you pretty much got a thirty seventy Ti for free. Essentially, right. yeah, because yeah, because when you you know do the math and everything like that for everything yeah, that's it. gouged up, yeah, I still got a, a free thirty seventy yeah, Ti. Pretty much got it for free. Yeah, which isn't so, bad at all. Yeah, See, so I, could, uh, I, I, I will say this. Um, I will make fun of you for having a welfare graphics card. <laughs> What do you and have, Vaughn? who has a worse graphics card than me, I'm always going to make fun of Vaughn, you've had a worse graphics card than me for like 10 years. I never made and a fun of Look, boys, you know, you're 100% right. I was on the bottom, but now I'm on the top. What do you got? Hey, yo. The 3080. Ooh, I see you. I see <laughs> and the TI you. should be coming in soon. Hey, them, them 40, right. that, them, that 40 series supposed to come the end of this year, though. Yo, that's I'm not what's, buying that's nothing. what's crazy. We that's can't even get 30 series cards. And they come. They talk about coming out with forty series. It's a yeah. trap, bro. Don't do it. I'm not yeah. buying nothing else. You know what? Forty series is probably gonna be a rebranded thirty series. No, actually, they're saying the jump was gonna be the jump between Maxwell and Pascal, which was huge. But I told Pete BG yesterday that PC gaming is literally a money pit. Like you just keep throwing it's money. Not at a it. money pit. It is though. You only have to spend the money you want to. If you want to be hard eight, you can. If you want to be me, you can. Listen. Um, in PC gaming, you end up rebuying games, and they just sit in your library. You never boot them up, or you just boot them up to that. look at. Why would you Come rebuy on, games? Because you want to see what they what their performance is, what they look like. What do you mean? Okay, this is normal, well, this isn't is what it? BG does. I, so what I did that do? back. I did that back in like 2011. But like now, I don't be about rebuying. B, no, games. BG does it. He just returns that shit after he sees how it runs. Oh, facts! Shout out to the Steam policy. Yeah, just do what BG does. Down, buy that shit. The runs Steve. for two no, hours. What BG does shit. is grimy. BG literally buys a game, puts out a, a, a FPS boosted video. <laughs> what, what am I looking benchmark. for? What's the word? Not benchmark. The benchmark and then returns it. That's yes, really sir. I mean, that's that's, that's what you want to do, isn't it, Blaze? Yeah. So just yeah, I don't just, return so shit, man. Return it. I don't. I mean, I'm that, not a return. That's, that's not a valid complaint about PC. That's just you being weird. Mm. Listen, but, man. I feel like. I feel like bad back for blood is uh like how BG said like horde shooters just get boring zombies destroyed everybody's drive for horde shooters and then like yeah you said the guns the guns I feel, I feel like they should be they're satisfying more, to me I I don't like the X's I I just feel like it's after you get past a certain point it's like oh I know what this game's gonna be like that's it like I just like, like, like I said horde thing co-op shooters i say it all the time the problem with them is they rely too heavily on the fact that you're playing with your friends and the game mm -hmm. itself is is not fun enough on its own and i think that's the the flaw in them but um you know that i don't think any like co-op shooter really you know uh can triumph or, or triumph over that issue but i think you know um back for blood just does other things really well uh, you know, I, I like that you can, you know, you can heal teammates, you know, give teammates a ammo, you know, there's sniper rifles, automatics, melee weapons, pistols. This is shot. regular stuff, though. Yeah, this is, no, I'm just naming it for the people who haven't played the beta. It's, yes, it's very much this, a lot of the same thing from, uh, from Left 4 Dead. Um, the enemy types are kind of the same. I think there's like four or five in, in the beta. Hawkers, bruisers, uh, wretch, snitches, um, ogres. Snitch? Yeah, there's a snitch. Uh, that's the actual name. You watched the um, Hood Olympics yet? You see the snitching episode? I see. With me, yeah. I see it. I, I see it. That joy. The drive by. <laughs> oh, man. BG, if this game comes out with like uh, Dying Light 2, you're never going to. This is like, like this is why I said it's a Game Pass game because it's a game that you play when there's nothing else out. Yep. I agree. Yeah. It's game I, Pass Fodder. I, I think $60. Think, yeah. wow. Here's another good point I had, though. Blaze was talking about. You buy games over on the PC. Here, here's the funny thing. A lot of people buy games over on the Switch because it's portable. Now I'm thinking to myself, I kind of wanted to rebuy the Cold Steel games on the Switch and, you know, have portable versions of some of these RPGs. But then I thought about something. I don't need Steam to do that. that. Because my whole PC library is about to be portable come December. Boom. Mm. Yeah. I, I already own those games, so what's the point of buying them? What's the point of buying another portable version when, if you buy the best version, you also get the portable version? I think I got 150 Switch games, and like I just 
other than the exclusives, I don't like the Switch is an ex like it's all for the exclusives at this point. Like I'm done buying third party games. I tried Rogue Company, it's trash. I tried Dark Souls. I, I just couldn't. It's cool. I like it. I just wish, you know, that OLED should have been a power well, increase. Now you can you know? buy your games on PC and then just play them on your, your Steam Deck. You don't got to buy two copies anymore. Facts. No, that's facts. Facts. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Yeah. I, I think uh, I think Game Pass. I mean, it. Back for Blood is in Game Pass. You call the Game Pass. Ouch. Well, Yikes. no, it's it's in Game Pass day one, right? So I th it's a game that I would play day one when it comes out. You know, I would actually buy it because, you know, I'm not a Game Pass subscriber. Uh, and would I put it down like shortly, depending on what comes out after? Yeah, then I would pick it back up, you know, because it's one of those things where you could just pick up and play any time run through some levels with you know you know anybody who's in discord at any given time it's not i don't think it's, it's something that has to be like just this moment in time when we're playing it i think we could just play it throughout the year at any at any point you know after that you know i don't think it's it'll be something we play consistently it'll be something we play here and there you know every now and again and uh you know with the pc the pc modding community kept left for dead and left for dead 2 uh, alive like 10 years after they came out so that I'm shit sure still looks good yeah i'm sure they'll go crazy with this game too you know supporting it and i'm sure turtle rock is gonna keep supporting i, I think this game is gonna be fine you know for turtle for rock uh how did uh, is evolve can we can we still get up and play evolve after mm, this or no, no you oh, probably, is, that, is that game dead oh all right. it's definitely dead i mean but this Where game is going to be evolve? a lot more successful than evolve i listen i still stand by uh, evolve was a good concept idea that was, idea. That was idea. executed poorly yeah it was a good idea you're right exactly yeah. great point because the the and like i said the, the problem with evolve it was that uh the it was the monster running really. around too much man yeah it was it was the fact that the monster there wasn't a balance between like just how how hard it was to sometimes catch up to the monster like, cause the, cause whoever was the monster could literally just spend thirty minutes just running away from you, and if you didn't catch up to him, that's not fun. That's not fun for the other four players, you know. So they had to do some balancing really quick to save that game, and they didn't. So, yeah. But I remember the initial reviews, like, oh my god, like this is the next game. I remember, like, go back and watch. If you watch Crow Cat's video, like, you you would have think this is like Grand Theft Auto coming or something. Like, I, I, people were I, so excited for it. I would play in a ball too. I would definitely be excited for an Evolve too. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Everybody, it was a good, you know, uh, shot to the armor again because gaming needed some things like that, and it, it sucked that it didn't pan out. But you did get it. Did shit died. Game, I was like, pushed on the arm. No, no, I'm just saying in terms of like of a genre, you know, genre, it was dead. Yeah, you got. Yeah. That was not, not, like not, not Friday the Thirteenth yeah. and Dead by Daylight. I mean, same idea, um, on like a smaller scale. Because no, like, way better. like Dead by Daylight in them games that Jack be playing like Friday, like. That's typical. That's like four v one trying to kill a. Because can you even kill Jason in that in that game? Like, or are you just yeah, running him from no. him the whole time? You can, kill, you can kill. Okay, no, you like, can't. Yes, you, you definitely can. I've never done it. You gotta you gotta get the sweater, and then somebody gotta get the um. You gotta knock his mask off with the sweater, and then uh, have Tommy Jarvis. That's yeah, a lot of shit I, you gotta do. I just feel like Evolve was different because you're actually that. hunting the monster and everybody's got their spe special abilities and you need everybody, you know, to actually do their part, to actually win that game. And it was fun. It was fun when you actually caught up to the monster and, you know, everybody, everybody had to be on mic though. Like playing with randoms didn't work. And yo, that BJ, I was about work. to say that, bro. The the problem with that was that was like when the PS4 and Xbox and everybody's in party chats now. Yeah. So like you playing by yourself, you don't you're talking to nobody. But Back yeah. for Blood now has like a built in part uh built in chat system because I was in a party yep. playing that game and somebody told me to shut the fuck up. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no shit. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Mm. A um, lot of games should just incorporate that for now on. Yeah, so smooth. Uh, you you like back? Oh, who was that, Blanchard? No, I was just gonna ask. Do you guys get like genre burnout? Absolutely, for sure. Well, yeah, like sure. all these FPS games coming out, are you guys really gonna be able to jump from all these games to another? You, you get burnout of any game, fighters, yeah, I know. Japanese RPGs, shooters. Yeah, I had to drop Yakuza for like two years after just marathon in that series. But oh yeah, like right now, if the next Cold Steel came out, wouldn't even get it. Like I'm, I'm good. 
on the Legend of Heroes for like at least another two years. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, Smooth, were you gonna give your opinion on Back for Blood? I mean, I, th- I thought it was um, cool. I played the beta for about like an hour um, and I did a couple stages, did a couple of um, bosses and whatnot. Um, like me, I don't plan on getting a whole lot of the like the, of the shooting games uh, this year outside of Halo. And I mean, I'm not even good at Battlefield, so I'm not even going to pretend. So um, it'll be pretty much Halo and Back for Blood in terms of shooters, so I won't get burnt out. But um, no, I thought the game looked good. It performs well. Um, and like like I did enjoy the 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 feel and even the look of the guns. Um, I do feel like they could have done a little bit more with the the zombies itself. Um, but after a while, it, it became like samey. So I feel like I don't really don't need to play the beta anymore to get like the full grasp of the game. Um, this, it was definitely a polished beta, though. Yeah, definitely ran really well. Okay, uh, Jack, you want to do a super chat break? Yeah, hold on, I gotta load them up. <clears throat> All right. Um, what else uh, been going on while while you do that? Uh, smaller news that we don't really care about. There's a Ariana Grande concert in Fortnite, and they're also bringing Cammy and Guile from Street Fighter to Fortnite. Yay! Oh, wow. yeah. My son did that yesterday. He was he was waiting all day to do that. They actually had like I, I don't know how much money's Fortnite given. Like Fortnite, like they've done that with so many other celebrities, like. You don't understand. Like, I don't understand yeah. how much money they're giving these people. Oh, yeah. I'd be wondering what the they, bag they, is they like. They plug, in, they plug in with some of them, though. How, how yeah, do you like, participate in a concert, though? Like, do you like, do you have to pay extra or something to see it? No, you go in, like, him and my girl did it. Like, you go in, like, you go into the lobby, and then you see, like, this thing in the sky open up. It, it not, I'm not going to say, like, it was pretty lit if I was a, a fan of that. Like, it, it looked cool. Like, Mm-hmm. You're jumping around, doing all this crazy shit. Like, if I was a kid, I would definitely... It's a hologram, ain't it? It's like a big hologram in, in the... Bro, it's you know... massive. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. But speaking of Capcom, did you hear that they're trying to bring Marvel vs. Capcom 2 to current consoles? Yeah. Free MVC 2. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's in, They need to bring been, that back. It's in digital jail. Mm-hmm. It's only yeah. on PS3. I don't even know if it's, you can you, buy it anymore. Old games, Landry? What the fuck? Uh-oh. I don't know. That's a old game. I heard I those think. games were, you know, victims of nostalgia. Who cares yeah, about yeah, these old games? games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, dusty well, 90 games. Well, I will say that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is timeless, unlike the rest of them bum-ass games y'all be playing. But Okay, yeah. okay, okay. BG, mm-hmm. didn't you tell me you were going to play... You asked me because I was playing Mad Max. I beat it. Like, oh, I'm going to play that and Batman. I told him I was I was playing Batman Arkham Knight. See, I, I have a you legit reason. You old ass games, BG? I, no, see, I have, a, I have a legitimate reason, good sir. See... When Batman oh, came, I beat, I beat Batman Arkham Knight, right? But if you remember, Batman okay. Arkham Knight was broken on PS on PC when it first came out. Yeah. So yep. I, I had to play it on PS4 at 30 frames. It's good, oh, okay. sir. So you know, I, I finally, you know, I, I finally want to get around to. Oh, so now playing old games, get playing old games. Yes. If if if, if, if the experience that you were forced to play it in the first place was handicapped. Absolutely. Well, Blender, okay, Blender just said he's playing a better experience than Zelda, and y'all said that don't count. Bond said that. I ain't say it. They told me I need to waggle a, re- a Wii mode around. Okay. <laughs> All right. Super chats. That's crazy. All right. Let's see here. Um, We got John John the Don. He said, BG mess with the timeline more than Barry Allen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get wow. We got Andrew. We got Andrew. Do you Wilson. get that reference, Jack? That's a DC reference. Do you get that one? Ain't that a Green Green Lantern or something? It's a Flash. Oh, oh see? my god. See, this is my this point. Is this is why we can't take this I man don't serious. Like the Flash, dickhead. I don't see? like him. The Flash is a founding member of the Justice League. How you know how hey, 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 dickhead. Was you in here when I said I only like Batman? Bill. <laughs> I don't oh, man. like. Do you know who shit, Arthur man? Curry is? I don't like it. I don't like it. Do you know who Arthur can I not Curry like, is? Can I, not like, can I not like it? I didn't ask you. I said, do you know who Arthur Curry is? Do you know what shut the fuck up is? Exactly. <laughs> I don't like it, bro. Goddamn. Man, man, read the super chats, man. Well, the DC Defense Force. But you... Hey, hey, nigger. Hey, nigger. I don't like it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay? About to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, my God. <gosh. laughs> All right, America. Andrew Wilkins says, Xbox fans, White Lords, Jess, and Grub are saying Game Pass is only 20 at 20 million now. Time to admit Xbox and Game Pass are a complete fail and a waste of Existence. What the? 
okay. white lords. <laughs> we got King <laughs> Case Queso. He said, oh, you got that. This man up here talking like Fratanga, busy be hanging out with Alex. Dumb the monkey. We got King Queso. He says, shout out to BG for uh being kid dangerous best friend. We'll uh we'll big wow. up, huh? I guess he mean real big of you, my guy. Got King Queso again. He says, also shout out to Bun for making an appearance on Jack's Persona stream earlier this week. I that probably know. wasn't me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we got Jazzy Jefferson. He says, can one of the topics be about Neo? The world ends with you. Uh, with me, it actually is what he said. Apparently, the game sales in Japan ain't great. And can I air out my problems with this game? Jazzy. I know nothing sure, about not? that game. Nobody cares about that game because Square Enix waited 10 years too late to make it. I know nothing about it. We got, dead. we got LeBron Gems. He said, did y'all hear that a... Uh, a WW, I guess a white woman won at cosplay at an all black Comic Con. We can't have nothing, no offense, Blaze. Okay. Yeah, I heard about that a few weeks ago. Eh, it is what no, it is. No bro. offense like, taken, bro. <laughs> it I'm is not what white. It is. Uh, <laughs> we got Gideon Inc. He said, Shout out to BG for cutting the dead weight in quotation marks, Jimmy. That's not nice. Shout out to the OG uh, Jimmy. That's all right. Um, I don't think we got no more. Yeah, let me see. Oh, no, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Hold on. They reload it. Yeah. All right, we got Black Metal Gamer. He says, this y'all acting weird this week, y'all. Yeah? Uh, Death Stranding, in a nutshell, is a pretentious retelling of Paperboy. Uh, if you can remake a completely bad, a bad game. Uh, what? If you can remake completely a bad game, so it's remade great. What game? Remake a bad game, so it's great? Uh, I don't know. What's a shitty mean? game, Remake a bad game, great. Oh well, uh, Death Stranding, Cyberpunk, uh, uh, Anthem, Anthem, sure. Um, what else? It's bad. Let's make it good. Um, Shantae, no, nah, I'm messing with you, Jack. Uh, Returnal. <laughs> Yo, that game still like got Halo you going. Games. <laughs> hey, oh, Returnal really got you like traumatized. Move like, oh man. Go, go ahead, Jack. All right, we got OBJ Jr. He said, they said the zombies say the N-word and bad for blood. Okay. <laughs> nah. We got, we got <laughs> Killer E305. BG is the perfect example of a Sony simp is willing to take a $70 shafting, no Vaseline, but hates Game Pass for being Netflix, but is to drop <laughs> and get on his equal for Sony Netflix collaboration. Okay. I need to uh, I need to refute refute that real quick. You know, it's funny how a lot of people are calling BG a Sony simp when these same niggas willing to go out and spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a goddamn SSD instead of beating their games. <laughs> I got I got an even I got an even better rebuttal for that. When when news of that Sony Netflix thing came came out, you realize we didn't even talk about it on on the Weapon Wheel because I thought it was a non-story. That's how that's how unimportant I thought that was. We didn't even talk about it. I saw it and I'm like, I, I don't even care about this. So we didn't even talk about it. <laughs> there you go. That's how much I thought I, I geared about that. I didn't. Have a nice day, sir. And finally, we got Tarek Ahmed. He said, Kid Dangerous is Motorola Evo on its last legs. There you go. Oh. Well, here's stop Bob. <laughs> 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 is that Blaze? <laughs> That was Kid Dangerous, man. Kid oh, Dangerous, that wasn't me, dog. You be having them sound bites, bro. All right. Uh, what else we got? Uh, okay. Um, the oh, we talked about that. Um, the, the so there's a petition. Bond is gonna love this one. There's a petition to bring Yu-Gi-Oh to the Olympics. Next topic. Thanks. What do you mean? Don't, this don't, is don't they, have, don't they have chess in the Olympics? They might. I mean, I look, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I see the weirdest shit in the Olympics this year. It doesn't even look like they're playing sports anymore. They're just doing like crazy ass hobbies. <laughs> like, I like see. I saw track and field where like there were puddles on the track and they're hurtling over puddles and landing in them. I'm like, you know, somebody's gonna like tear an ankle up or something. Mm. I ain't gonna lie to you. To, it just happened to Jamaicans being fast. <laughs> There's a pregnant woman that won a race. She was five months pregnant. Damn, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. 
You got um, um irregulars dominating the women's division and weightlifting. Yep. Like, what the hell's going on in the Olympics? Hey, you see them Italians winning them races, baby? Yes, oh, sir. Man. That's good. Uh, Those are, guys are had even, mob hits out on them. Run are you even a, are you are you like a full blooded Italian blaze? Or are you from like Sicily, you know one eight bro. one eighth? I'm from Sicily, bro. I always tell people I'm black from the waist down. That's what I tell people. Oh boy, <laughs> what the, what, sir? <laughs> Hell no. Black from the waist down, Asian from the neck up. And Jewish from the nose up. You feel me, dog? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, y'all wallet, dog. Bruh. <laughs> I'm Jewish in my bank account. I shouldn't have said that. Let's move uh, on. Oh. Uh, bars. Hey, Tony going to try to steal that. Don't let Tony hear that joint. He going to try uh, to steal my bars. Tony's going to be too busy making videos on me to care. Oh, man. Y'all still going at it? Shout out nah, to Tony for is. surpassing 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> to oh, Tony must be having relationship issues. He giving me, yo, he giving me more attention than the truth setting you free. Good. I'm not your girlfriend, buddy. I would, uh, I would actually watch Yu-Gi-Oh in the Olympics. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would watch it. The Japanese would probably destroy everybody. Probably. And then they'd probably have different rulings on can you use different regions' cards. I don't know how they would do it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm in the uh, Discord like, yo, Yu Gi Oh, let's go! I got my deck ready. Like it's hilarious. Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Let's I mean, talk if, about if if Yu Gi Oh was being the Olympics, why not just have poker in it? Fact. Poker would have, poker would have, if they would have to do poker beforehand. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. You get any card game in, then you can start talking about Magic and Yu Gi Oh. Okay, um, let's talk about let's talk more about Marvel to piss Jack off. So, uh, according to this report, and I believe this is actually this is actually coming from Jeff Grubb, um, the Marvel XCOM game that's in development by Fur Axis is not going to feature any characters from the Marvel universe. So it's the a hell? Marvel. Yeah, this is this is what he's saying. Um, this is what he, he claims, right? So pretty much it's it's going to be in the Marvel Universe and you get to create your own superhero, right? You get to, or, or, you know, originate your own superhero. But there's not going to be anybody from the Marvel Universe when and I'm trying to understand how how are, how do you know you're in the I, I guess there's certain things you could signify to make it be in the Marvel Universe. But like without any characters, how do you truly feel like you're there? It just could feel like any generic superhero world it's it's weird um and I'm, I'm still looking forward to this but i was really excited when it's a you know when it, it was a marvel XCOM game so let me just read this real quick uh so uh according to journalist jeff grubb during a giant bomb live stream uh he suggested the title could potentially be announced during gamescom this month uh Wait, Gamescom still going on? Okay, this was so this was a, this was a while ago. I think okay, so they updated it. Yeah, they pretty much updated it and said that it could possibly not have any Marvel characters in it, which is which is weird. Yeah, so I don't know. Could be a rumor, could be true, but I would hope it would actually have Marvel characters in there. Thoughts? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, uh, Marvel just needs to leave all their game making to Insomniac. How about that? Yeah. yeah, I think I'm probably the only one here in here that plays XCOM games. Another game that uh, you know, Jack doesn't play because you know he can't play more XCOM than one type right. of game. I mean, unless they um, the only way this works is if you're playing like Shield and all your characters are like agents in Shield. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, if you're making like your own creative super, it's just going to be dumb. Yeah. Okay. We can move on from that. Uh, PSVR 2 details. So we got some new PSVR 2 details from a leak at the recent uh, Dev Summit. So it's codenamed NGVR uh, for Next Gen VR. Uh, I was a nigga VR. Oh, man. Uh, 
it, huh? it's gonna have uh, HDR OLED displays, uh, and the resolution per eye is gonna be two. Uh, what is that? Oh, okay, it's gonna be uh, two thousand by twenty forty per eye, per eye. That's the uh, resolution. Um, the FOV is gonna be one ten, which is more than the original PlayStation Thank VR. Thank God, bro, that was the biggest problem, man. Closed door yeah. effect, you get. The controllers will be packaged with each headset and feature touch sensors. It's going to be launching early 2022. Knowing Sony, that's going to get delayed, though. Um, and Sony is also interested in AAA hybrid games that can be that can be uh, both, right? They could be regular games and also used uh, with VR. So it, like RE7, want, kind of. Yeah, they said like Resident Evil 7, Hitman, and games like that. They want games that could just you can be played. It can be played with VR and and without it. So uh, I'm I'm looking forward to this v VR, you know, PS PlayStation VR two. I could not play the first one because, like I said, I just felt like the like the tech wasn't there yet. At least not in the original PlayStation VR. Like it would make me sick. I would get nauseous. The resolution was too low. I felt like the frame pacing and the frame rate was like unstable on a lot of these games. A lot of the you games. Tried it? Yeah, I, I yeah definitely tried it. Uh, PS but VR had. Nine, it had actually like ninety to hundred. It could it could reach one hundred twenty FPS on certain uh, bro. certain games. The the games I'm telling I, you, I'm telling the you. games I played, bro. I was getting double vision, right? I would like whatever character I would see, I would see like you know a, a um like a, a copy of them in like in like whatever game I played. So I would be seeing double vision. I would be getting nauseous, about to pass out and die. It just was a really bad experience for me. It looked low low res, and a lot of the games. That they made, you know, then they weren't actual games. They were like just experiences. Yeah, they were tech shows. Yeah. yeah, they were tech demos, tech shows. So I think we've gotten far enough that PlayStation VR 2 will be a lot more viable, you know, for and it'll be less wires, hopefully. This is still, That's it's still the biggest be problem, BG. The biggest problem yeah. that everybody has, or, or at least me, if you have to set up your PSVR, you just feel like it's an issue, man. I, I bought a PSVR BG. The first breakaway box didn't have HDR pass through. You might not think it's a bad deal, you know, big deal, but then you play a game that had HDR, you have to unplug every. It was just a pain in the ass. Then they put out another VR that had HDR pass through. So I bought that. I'm just telling you, the potential is there. Everybody that, when you put on that helmet, you do get blown away. But the resolution, the closed door effect, the lack of uh, compelling first. Uh, uh, first party titles from PlayStation, they really didn't care about it. But there the potential's there. Like I bought the Quest 2, the Oculus Quest 2, and yeah. I'm telling you, man, VR is is great. It really is. Like it's not gonna take over everybody's daily gaming shit, but it's definitely has a spot and and VR needs play uh VR needs PlayStation honestly because they, they were the leading they were leading in the market. So they, they need yeah. they need a PSVR too. Yeah, and even though I wasn't like you know a fan of the first one because you know because of the reasons I said, I, you know it's one of the things that PlayStation actually supported, and we know PlayStation be dropping support for you know a lot of the things they start, a lot of their peripherals or devices and stuff. And I saw like they were pretty thorough with P PSVR, uh, so I'm like they're you know, and it was a su success for them. They were the most popular VR device. Well, as for sales wise, I think because they were the cheapest, it was the most right. entry level VR device. So it was, uh, I think they, what did they sell? Like over five, six million units of those things? Oh, because anybody that had a PS4 could just, could experience it. You can't beat that. Yeah. Boy, is this there anything you don't buy? Um, yeah, Xbox games. Oh, shit. <laughs> like how, you, you bought multiple PlayStation VRs. How many PS5s have you bought? I, I have two in the house. One was for my son. Listen, I know Kiss Smooth thinks I'm this hater on Xbox. I have an Xbox shrine behind me. Like, I, I, Kiss Smooth, I don't know. I might have more shrine. Xbox games, controllers, consoles than you. I might. I don't know. So, I, so I, I don't think, hate on Xbox, man. I just want you to know that. I just, I'm just saying it how it is, man. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> you, you buy all this stuff for Sony or consoles. You probably got about eight Vitas. But then you're saying that PC gaming is a money pit. It is. I because think I, you're the you money know why? It, that might be true, Blonde, but listen, when other people are saying, oh, Blaze, you upgrade into a 39, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not getting a 39. I'm good with my 20 time. And then, like, oh, Yo, you're, you're going to be a peasant. You're not going to be big dog around here. That shit gets me, bro. <laughs> so so you got you got trolled into buying a new fucking... <laughs> yeah. Hold up. You, you let another man on the internet... Absolutely. Oh, man. 
Absolutely. I am not going to be... spend $1,500 on a graphics card? Listen, I spend more time with Jack Moo than my own girl, bro. Like, I, like I'm around these dudes all the time, so... You know, he, you know it. I'm just telling you that I, I don't want to be... Um, you're not going to pick at me. I'm not letting you do that. Yo, you're I, be beneath me. BG will tell you, I ran them 560 Ti's so the damn wheels fell yeah. off. And, and I didn't coffee. give a shit... And I didn't give a shit what nobody said. But yeah, I'll but Juan, look damned. at the games you were playing, though. You were playing like, a lot of... I was still playing all the modern games, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Well, I'll be damned if I let some broke-ass, faceless NPC over the internet... These weren't broke me people. Spe- goad me into spending $1,500. Fuck that. Look, I want it. You know, I, I basically said that, but, like, it is nothing. Like, I love new tech. I have to buy it. I have to have it. So it's like, again, it's not it's not a PC money pit. You're the money pit. Listen, everybody I know that gets into PC gaming ends up rebuying a bunch of games they've already played. I mean, Steam Blaze sales? is a little bit of a hoarder. You you're a little bit of a hoarder though. You 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 have gold collector. Chain, you have gold chain nineteen. You got the heart eight syndrome. I call all collectors hoarders. It's the same thing. They just give it a prettier name. I don't like Hardy will will re- return his shit. Like I don't do that. Like I just if I don't buy but, it, if I, you're a hoarder. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I'm At a collector. Harry will sell it, and get his money back, and buy something new. You just keep Fun. buying. Oh man, do you have video games in the shelf right now? Yeah, you do, right. Okay, so what's the issue? Like, I like to preserve my shit. Like, there's there's PS3 games that we still can't play, so that's but why I, I don't go out and PS3. buy multiple copies of games, Blaze. Listen, this is only on PC. Man. The only fun. games I have multiple copies of are probably like Street Fighter Four. That's because people would say, oh, I'm not going to play you. I got it on PlayStation. Well, okay, now, nigga, you can't duck me. PC, mm. PlayStation, Xbox. Crossplay, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah we, so now, yeah, you're right. Now we have crossplay. We don't need to buy multiple copies anymore. Blaze is an Italian hoarder. It's okay. Yeah, and, and now, with the advent of the Steam Deck, if you want the game to be portable, you don't have to buy it anymore either. Hold on. Y'all don't like having, like, listen... You're telling me, like, BG, what's the issue of having, like, a shelf full of your favorite games? Like, just... It looks this. First of all, a shelf full of anything you're not using is, like, an abomination. Like I you, know you. you. Should... I get it. You, you... Like, it's you like just, clean it's just... setups. I get it. Yes, I like clean ooh, ooh, emptiness. Ooh, ooh, too cool for school, man. Too cool for school. No, like, it's just dumb, bro. I, listen, I, I, I honestly hate when I see people set up. Like, when they so post just, their like, setups on Twitter. You're not a collector. You're not, you're not a collector. No, I, you're not no, a collector. I, I, That's I'm, it. It's, see, y'all call it collecting. I call it. I call it hoarding. And they collectors are people that buy shit and don't play it. They just buy I, shit to have shit. Or, 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 or everything keep it I bought, I bought with the intention of playing when I bought it. Listen, yeah, but it's still a collection. At the end of the hoarding, day, no. hoarding is a lot in of the... you people are like, oh, I gotta go back and buy this PS2 game to fit my collection. Like, nah, if you didn't buy it when it came out, like, you don't need it anymore. There's literally Don't people who that, buy stuff. Game. There's literally people who buy stuff and be like, "Oh man, I can't wait to put this on my shelf." Yeah, <laughs> like it's what? Like, it's some people buy games to collect. It's like comic books. Some people buy comic books man. and never fucking read them. But it's also hey, people that buy them to read them. Or they buy most of my library. I, my PS Vita library, Jack. I didn't mean to cut you off. I got like almost the full North American uh, library for the Vita, and I'm telling you, eighty percent of them are sealed. And I got multiple. So you go for a complete collection. You might as yeah. well sell those right now. But they're sealed. You know how much money Vita games are going for? Not yeah, even it's just a like shitload. Sealed. Get them graded and sell them. I'm selling my copy of Mario Galaxy 2 for fifteen hundred. Crazy. Shout out to RGT eighty five. Call me Mister Sinister. I'm just saying, if you love certain games, I don't see the problem of like buying. Say you love Dark Souls and you buy the all the, the full series and you have them. Just you never know, man. You never know. You got them. They're there. It's just. It's just. Yeah. yeah so I'm not play. saying you, you do don't it. need to have them just to sit on the shelf and not ever play. Hoarding, I, mean, I, I get. I get. It. Hoarding is in the book of mental diseases and disorders, and this I absolutely true. believe a lot of y'all have that. This listen, I'm not walking over newspapers and dead cats, listen, bro. I'm listen, about I'm so listen. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. You can ask my wife, bro. I be walking around the house, and I be like, "Yo, babe, we haven't used that in like three weeks. Sell that. Dead Back. ass." That's it. That's how I am. Yo, we ain't. We I wish ain't I had that. that power, man. Sell it. I probably inventory in my place probably every couple months to see what I'm using, what I'm not using, what PC components I can make a skeleton rig with, 
donate to somebody, sell. Like I yeah, don't. Yeah, but Vaughn, you're to... never going to sell your 3DS games and all those games. No, you have. You're not I'm, I'm talking about other okay. things lying around. Okay. That uh, that's well, I, I, I don't like things piling up. Out the games stay on my shelf because I bought them and played them and beat them. I don't see a reason to get rid of them. But people going back to buy PlayStation 3 games to collect them in the year 2021 is absurd to me. I don't think it is. I think you're in the I think you're in the minority when you, when you say it like that. Of course that, I'm in the I minority. I'm the normal one. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's move on. Um uh so Dead Space, the Dead Space remake is targeting a 2022 release date, uh, which is good. You know, I think they can make that. I mean, you know, even though they're you know, they already got the schematics there, the, you know, the foundation and the blueprint and Dead Space is only like a, you know, an eight to 10 hour game. So, you know, it shouldn't, I, I think they should be able to make this release date. And uh, some people were like panicking because uh, the director for the Dead Space remake is also the director from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And uh, I think some Yikes. gamers, I think some gamers think like just because you're the, you're the director of a game that you just have a hundred percent like control on everything that happens in the game and if you want to turn the game like if you wanted to have Isaac Clark you know climbing towers just because he's the director that he could do that I'm like you know you, there are checks and balances in game development so some people were panicking and stuff I'm like not if it's, it's fine yeah Koji, Koji, Koji they can't do that Koji he can, he can literally do whatever the hell he wants in his game other people, other directors, no, you can't just do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, so but when it's a beloved game. remake of a game, they got to be super careful on what they yeah. t- like. This whole Last of Us rumor, like I hear, oh, they're gonna change how the characters look to match the uh, the movie. Like, no, that's not happening. Like when it's a beloved game like this, they got to be careful. They got to stay by the books and just they got to just enhance a couple things. They can't really touch yeah. how they look and. How the story went. They can't yeah. do that. I don't Isaac think. Clark ain't about to be doing backflips off of no ta- well, front flips off of towers, you know, leaps yeah. of faiths. And it's, it's not going to be like that. It, it, it'll be fine. Like, you got to understand, like, they're just like in movies, there are directors that work on very different type of movies. You'll see somebody, you know, direct an action movie and then they direct a, a horror movie and then directs, you know, a, 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 ro- a you know, a, a romantic comedy. Like, it's, and you won't see any of the influence that they had in those different movies like crossover. It's that's how it is. So, you know, some people were panicking for no reason, I think. It'll be fine. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh let's see what else we got here. So, okay, so Ghost of Tsushima Legends is launching as a standalone game in September. Because you know, right now you have to you have to actually buy Ghost of Tsushima uh, to play Ghost of Tsushima Legends, which is the you know the co op multiplayer game. Uh, it's launching September third as a standalone. That's two weeks af- after Ghost of Tsushima uh, Director's Cut, and it's launching for nineteen ninety nine. So that's twenty dollars. Uh, I haven't seen. Some people complain yet, but I'm sure it's been happening because I haven't been on the internet consistently. Bro, they've been crying about this shit. Oh, they've been, been crying? Oh, crying. man. They've been crying. What is it? Like, oh, they're like, Blaze, Doom Eternal got a free upgrade for ray tracing. So did Metro. They didn't charge a single thing. Okay, we're talking about a resolution boost or ray tracing. We're talking about an actual, like, our actual DLC content, like a whole new island, whole new enemies, whole new. Well, island. I'm talking about the standalone. Yeah, I know yeah, they're yeah, crying about that. But he's talking, talking, sta- talking about legends. He's talking about the standalone yeah, yeah. part, like being twenty dollars. Have you seen any crying for that? Yeah, of course there's gonna be crying. There's always okay. gonna be crying for it. As long as it costs money, it's gonna be crying. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't see why they would be. If you don't get the game, you gotta pay for it. I mean, makes sense to me. Yes. Yeah, so everything it says, everything included. Uh, in Ghost of Tsushima Legends, um, in its October debut, uh, is going to be in this standalone, plus several content updates. Uh, there's going to be, you know, all, all the patch rebalances and Legends survival mode. Um, it's going to shorten the session lengths, add new weekly variations to survival nightmare challenge. Uh, yeah, all of that, all of that good stuff. I still have, I still actually haven't played Ghost of Tsushima Legends, and I, I want to. Um, I probably will. After I, I gotta beat Ghost of Tsushima all over again. By the way, because you know I don't have my save, uh, so I gotta beat that 
the game literally all, all over again and then go and why and don't you have your save uh because for some reason you auto save PS4? oh no 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 sir sir, sir what sir, it matters sir. Yeah, no, save saves. see that sir. selling your shit fucked you over see that crazy crazy mm, crazy crazy no auto auto save not working f me over like auto save should have worked i don't know why it didn't and uh oh, yeah. you didn't do a system transfer no, because you know uh, the auto save to the cloud should have worked, and I don't know why it didn't. So you should have did a transfer, or like, yo, when it's an important game like that, story games, I make sure I manually go do certain games. Like, I'm not saying all, oh, but there's certain games like I know I don't want to lose progress for that. I always go do it myself. You yeah, can't uh, count on I mean, I I, I, I want I kind of wanted to play the game over in 60 FPS, and I wasn't going to. But now that they forced me to, at least I can enjoy it in 60 frames. Because that's yeah. I will say, like that 30 FPS really bothered me a lot in Ghost of Tsushima. I played. The first I enjoyed time I it in 60 FPS. It must but have according great. to people like Blandro, I'm a pony now. Mm. Crazy how that works. You recognize quality, and people upset. Meanwhile. They playing games, Wii games for sixty dollars and sixty FPS, but they mad at me. I'm playing upgraded games. For quality cheap. shaming. I call it quality shaming. That's what that. That's when you like call people PlayStation fanboys. It's, it's it's quality shaming. That's really what it is. I feel like Bond will say whatever. Like he'll, he'll pick a side based on his narrative for that day. You know but I mean? here's the thing, Blaze. <laughs> while you are right. They'll tell you my narrative has always been the same. I don't like rebuying old games. I don't like remakes. Hence, I'm not excited for Dead Space. I want a brand new game. And I don't really like to play games that are 30 frames per second. In fact, I would rarely play them at all. Wait, you're not excited for Dead Space, my guy? No, I've already beaten the game. And, and look, BG and them will tell you, my, my views have, are pretty damn consistent. Yeah. He, you know, he considers remakes pretty much the same game. I look at remakes as brand new games. That's that's how my eyes see them. Demon Souls was a brand new game, bro. No, it's like, oh, oh, yeah, no. go. No, I already argued with them this about place. this. I'm not getting back into this, so you you could have it. I'm that just place. telling you, it's a different, it's a different it's type the of same like, damn game. It's not. I, I can open up my PlayStation Three strategy guide on my day one copy, and I can use it to find everything in this game and use every strategy. It will still be applicable. It's the same game. <laughs> you know there's Not different items, right? Oh, oh, congratulations. Does that make the Witcher 3 Game of the Year edition a brand new game? Come I on, thought you're, so. You're crazy, bro. Have you seen Demon's Souls on PS3? I and, beat and it, have you seen? Okay, so so you should know that, that it's, it's the same damn games. game. Hell no. BG, just advance this before we get into another 30-minute time loop. Yeah, because me and Bon argued about this for like 30 minutes. and I, I'm I, Listen, Blaze, if you want to go at it, I'm, I'm staying out of it. I'm tired of that conversation. So... Right. There's no change. Like the developers even know. said, the AI and the functions and everything is identical to the original game. Bro, they literally uh, added brand new backstabs, brand new animations. Oh my kill god! People, all it still like, does attacks. the same thing. It's just different animation. Okay, well, don't say everything's the same. What is so? Not. Is is the Master Chief Collection a brand new version of Halo? No, it's just upgraded versions of the originals. It's not a different game. That's that's a little bit different. No, it's not. Because I would say that the Master Chief Collection does a lot more and a lot different. Mm. Yeah, you on you on your own with this one, Blaze. I already argued this man down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna. I mean, all right, he can, he can uh, have his victory. And uh, yeah, hey man, the last thing I got is um, Streets of Rage Four. The developer Dot Emu has been acquired by Focus Home Interactive, which. Uh, is okay with me you know i don't necessarily have any bad things to say about focus home interactive you know dot emu was already making good games they got a they got a publisher now you know the focus is inconsistent though i like i like some of their games but they're definitely inconsistent. like when i think about their name i don't necessarily think of like quality but i don't think of trash either that's really because yeah. they were they yeah, were the publisher yeah, cool hits, man. they did that they, they did um vampire i believe um yeah, like their okay, their games are like the you know okay. Didn't they they were well, the publisher? Pub, they publisher. They not they not developers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. yeah, but when I see their name and the publishers that and the developers they usually have, it's usually just okay games. It's nothing like amazing. Didn't they? Did they, did what, they do Remnant? Probably. Uh, and weren't weren't they the publisher? Of, oh, what's that first person shooter that came out like? 
it was like the PS3, well, it was like PS3, Xbox days, and it came out uh, along, like, You're Talking about Space Hulk? No. no. I think it was something. What's that damn game? I, I'm thinking, like, I feel like it's Revolution or something like that. It was a first-person shooter. Yeah, that. Didn't they? Th- no. Didn't they, no. That's not them? Okay. I thought that was, they... That was Crytek and, um, who was that? That was Crytek and somebody else. Okay. I know uh, they were yeah. using the Cry Engine, but I don't know if that was Crytek. You know, it was Crytek. I'm just trying to think. Was who, it? Who, yeah, I'm trying to think who published the it game. It was Crytek and somebody else. I can't remember. That was a minute ago. Okay. That game flopped. Didn't it? Oh it did. Well, they made Homefront and then Homefront 2. Uh, I never, you know, I never played neither one of those. The first one was decent. The second one uh, had a lot of issues. Hmm. Uh, Deep Silver is who published that game. Deep Silver. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so that's really all I got. I could go to some uh, Patreon questions because I asked people to uh, you know, just send us questions. Cause I Can I ask a question, did... BG? Sure, sir. I noticed, uh, you know, the, the PS5 2.0 beta's out, and um, they made some changes to the UI overall. Is that and... two Barry Allens on screen, or am I, am I tripping? Oh, yeah, you know, he's, he's effing up the, the, the timeline, but Jack wouldn't know about that. <laughs> no. um, go ahead, Jack. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I was told by you and many others nothing, there was nothing wrong with the PS5 UI, but now they're changing it and reverting it back to look more like the, the PS4, PS4 and right? UI. That's, that's crazy how they're doing well, that it. That doesn't I mean, mean not anything's wrong. It just means that people like the old one better. No, the, PS, yeah, the, that, the that, PS5 that was, UI that, is a mess. Period. What? But that was, but, that was my, my, argument, my argument was that the PS4 UIs were better. Jack, no, but here's the thing. Okay, but here's the thing, right? First of all, number one is like they make changes to every UI, no matter how good or bad it is. Right? Yeah, so that, that's just a given. That, that's a given. That, the second thing so they, is, is, well, 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 is why are they why are they reverting back to something I said should have never been changed in the first. Place. Okay, maybe maybe if, maybe if that, if that were false, then they wouldn't have reverted back to it. Correct. I mean that's that's not true. They always you know they they guess I guess they're listening to the audience. The second thing is Jack, you were complaining about stuff like the edges of the boxes being too round and not being sharp squares. I mean, like I, 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 prefer, I prefer I prefer the square boxes to the rounder boxes. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's like an you, aesthetic, you, that's an aesthetic change. I'm sorry. You had you had dumb complaints. Oh, it's too round at the bottom. Oh, no, so I, need, that, I need it to be that, a square. If, that, if that's a dumb complaint, then why on smartphones can you change the apps to square or uh, rounded square? You can change them or circle. Jack, if what's your biggest complaints of the UI? What's your biggest complaints? Right now? Yeah. Um, I don't like the 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 party system is completely and utterly the fr- finding um, a friend, sending a message, trash. Right? Like trash on the old on the old PS4. If you click somebody's name in a party, you could go to their account from there. If you click somebody's name in a party now, it's not taking Nothing. you to anything. Nothing. It's, it's so confusing, no bro. It's dumb as fuck. I've had Yo, no issues. How many people hold? How many people hold the PlayStation button to shut off or restart? Like you know how many times I've been holding the PS5 no, button, like I, and it doesn't I do anything. Gonna, I was gonna say that. That's the, that's literally the only problem I have with the PS5 is no matter how many times I try to remind myself that you can't hold the button. Because it doesn't do the same thing on the P- uh, on the PS5 as it did on the PS. That's my only problem. All this other stuff. Oh, it's oh, round and not square, and I can't. They, they don't I can't themes. find my way around, why don't, why don't and I'm you lost. Get used to it, BG. Well, my, no, that's what I'm trying to do. It's muscle memory, though, and it and it takes time to get rid of that muscle memory. I don't have no other problems. Been out for ten fucking months. What's, what's okay, but I'm also playing games on PC, sir. So you know, it's oh, not okay. like I. Okay. Listen, right. I've only played like the, the last time I even cut my PS5 on. Was probably returned. No, nah, we're not gonna do BG. We're not gonna do this, bro. You're because an old I'm, Sony. You're a Sony uh, dick eater, man. I, I see your quality shaming. You're quality shaming again. I'm not quality and shaming. I love, I love the quality too. I'm just saying. You're quality. No, I, and I'm not. And I'm not trying to. I'm not saying that to say like that, that. Like, oh, I'm some type of PC guy. I'm saying that my muscle memory hasn't been readjusted. Is because I haven't spent enough time on the PlayStation Five. Okay. That's why. They need themes. They really do need themes. I'm sorry, they do. That was an incentive to pre-order shit. I really, I really, I don't agree with that. I'm being real. You don't think they need themes? There's nowhere to put them. The the app takes up the whole screen, bro. But that's my point because of this stupid new UI, bro. It's it's just it's it's confusing as hell. It's confusing as hell. Mm. It just it sucks. It's a lot of it's a lot of shit they put in sub menus that shouldn't be in sub menus. And there's a lot of folders. Come on, bro. Why I understand folders. why they did the folders 
Come they, on, they man. You don't need no damn folders. BG, just because you delete every game doesn't mean we do. I like to have like, all my souls. You can't have more than 10 things on the home screen anymore. You know that, right? I you know, don't need I more know. than 10 things. <laughs> yes, you do. I mean, do. if you wanted to. If you wanted to. Bro, Options. I've never... Bro. I, don't, I don't game police, BG. PS4... I've never had even on PS4 for for seven years. Never had more than like six or seven things on that screen. You, are you don't need not everyone. BG, you're not oh, everyone. Man. You're right. I'm better than everyone. That's cool too. I'm just saying. I don't. You got to stop game policing, man. No, no the gaming. I'm... We need. We. I really wish we had a legitimate group of people who were the gaming police. Yes, because some of y'all uh, niggas get, sorry, out, sorry, sorry, y'all sorry, niggas sorry, get out of control. Keep, keep you weirdos in line. Nah, yeah, man. for real. I think no. I, I think they should. You should be fined. Like you, you start doing dumb shit on like the UI and on the and on, and on the your joint. You need to be fined. Like having a hundred games downloaded or whatever, and buying, uh, you know, nine hundred dollar uh, SSDs. You need to be fined for this nonsense. All right, we gotta start punishing people. You buying too oh, yeah, many SSDs going down already? By the way, they got a they got buying. a one terabyte SSD compatible with the PS5 for 120 bucks. Buying too much people booty boxes, that. all that stuff. Hilarious. You see, you can, PlayStation can't win, bro. They're damned if they do, damned if they don't. They go if they go proprietary, like the Vita. Oh, why they do that? This is why it's all expensive. This is why it's never available. And you know, what I mean, if they go the other route where they give people options, people still win, mad. Bro. People still yeah, mad. you can't win. People will be over the SSD thing. They'll they'll be it, it's yeah. Nobody will be talking it, about this in a year, bro. bro watch this shit. This shit only been going on for a week, and it's already been proven that it was the right decision. Right. They they went from saying they went from saying a terabyte cost two three hundred dollars. Now you can get a terabyte for a hundred dollars in less than a week. Like come on, man. Look, all these Xbox dudes are. are I'm sorry. There's a reason why the PlayStation doesn't have an adaptive controller. Microsoft <laughs> Xbox fans <laughs> try to complain that they can't put a stand on a game console, and yet they even complain that they can't flip open two tabs on the on the PlayStation and unscrew something to install a hard drive. Now, keep in mind, some of these people actually breed. Wow. <laughs> They're having this much trouble exerting such minimal intellectual capabilities and yet these people are responsible for the lives of children. Man, but no, nah, I'm saying people be on Twitter fucking armchair developing games like crazy. It's like you got all this fucking knowledge, but when it come to like unscrewing something, you go fucking retarded, bro. Like, it, it's absolutely nuts. Gotta like, I'm real. sorry, like if you're complaining about the installation of an SSD and you have children, Child Protective Services should come and like... Bond, we've take. been dealing with taking out a hard drive since the PS3, since the PS2. Like, I don't understand exactly. what the Thank issue is. Thank you. Blaze is 100% right. We, we've been moving hard drives since the PS2. We had broadband adapters we placed on the Dreamcast. Like, people need to stop. Even, even the PS2 network adapter, you needed a... Yep. Well, you could use a quarter, but you could use a flathead, take, you know, take it off, you know, put it... But what kills yeah. me the most is, right, you have all these console gamers, not PC gamers, console gamers like D-Batch and all these people that act like they're the biggest tech gurus in the world. They're RDNA this and 32564 DNA that. Like, these people talk like they actually create, like, like they're in the room with Mark Cerny. But when it comes time to open up a little thing to put an SSD in, oh, Oh, God, that's too hard. I can't do that. How could they yeah. expect me, a pseudo Kojima intellectual genius of console gaming, how could they expect me to do that? And uh, Craziness. A, a lot of these SSD, uh, you know, manufacturers, they're, you know, they're going to know there's going to be a demand. So they're going to adjust prices or like, you know, that they're going to make sure there's heat sinks with these SSDs. Bro. Yeah, they're going to be competitive. You don't even so. need a heat sink for most nvme drives i'll tell you that right now too yeah like the heat sink is not required it's not even really even needed sony BG, just, from, uh, from plus red in the chat let me see him contest that what's up <laughs> i mean sony sony will obviously tell you that so there's zero liability of you buying one of these things and it overheating because they don't know they can't manually check every damn ssd that's going into their machine you know what i'm saying so of course they're going to say that my favorite, um, yeah, my, I mean, if you watch Gamers Nexus, you guys watch Gamers Nexus, right? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. hey, he he did a test about heat sinks on MVME drives. He's like, it's pretty much pointless. My MVME drive stands, it literally sits right below my graphics card. And I would assume that the graphics card outside of your CPU might be the hottest component in your computer. Yeah. I actually invited I Bless right on, but he said uh, he would probably be late. So I don't even know if yeah. he's in the chat. So I don't, I don't even know what this whole law. Why do you need a heat sink and the thermals? Like, yeah, yo, y'all, y'all it, it are not thermal engineers. The so according to Digital Foundry, it works a little bit better with a heat sink. On. Oh, yeah, I would assume. But I'm saying it's not like... Bro, their electronics not. components, yeah, 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 they get hot. Yeah, they they get hot. I don't understand, like, oh, it's hot. No shit. That's what electronics do. They get hot. Yeah, yeah. and an NVMe drive actually runs better when it's warm. <laughs> Which but is even they, a more funny thing. But didn't they say like a lot of these uh, SSDs, like the speeds are slower than the default one that's in the PS5? No. That's Some, not, they okay. said that the ones that are slower will still work. Mm. It's, um, yeah, this is just, yeah. well, I got to step out for a sec, but um, before I leave real quick, um, once again, it's just Xbox fans that are pseudo hardware geniuses making a bigger deal out of nothing. I mean, they're, they're, geniuses in one, they're geniuses until they have to use a screwdriver. I mean, God forbid these people wrong? had to open up a jar of baby food, their kids are going to starve. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a jar of baby food. It's not a, it's not a gaming console. I, I would argue that opening up a jar of baby food would probably take more physical strength than a screw, using a if, screwdriver. If they had food. a similar solution, this wouldn't even be a topic of conversation. Of course. So. But they don't. That's the thing. They don't. They don't. Uh, yeah, they uh, <laughs> fucked you in the ass for proprietary storage. It ain't fucked me too much. I mean, that thing has been on sale several times already. How much did you pay, sp spend for it? Mine didn't cost me anything. I got a hello, free, I got a hello free. bless red. Bless red is in here. Bless, do you have an I got opinion a free on? Smooth? Oh, I got it. I got it for my oh. Xbox One X. <laughs> I'm saying you got it for free. Well, I I traded my Xbox One X for it. But so bless, how much so did you trade a whole hundred dollars? You traded what am I a supposed to do console? with that? I don't need it. I have. Look at you like five hundred dollars. No, no, no. Look, Jack, I made this joke before. Like, the, I would say it jokingly that people are spending. The amount of a second console on an SSD, smooth just made my joke a reality. That's crazy. I, um, I wish I, I, I wish I, I made a bet. I would have won, I I won about money. Keeping my one X, but the thing is, is I had a Series S, Series X, and, and some one S's. Um, and I was like, I didn't really need it. <laughs> Could have got rid of the one S. You probably, probably should have just sold it. And exactly. I, yeah, you definitely I, got it in the butt on that one. Smooth, yeah, you got so. for S, bro. Bless. You got some uh, thoughts on this SSD situation? I uh, just came in to say, Jen. Most most SSDs don't need a heatsink. The specifically the ones that do require one is Gen Four SSDs because they are they run extremely hot. Watching like any uh, review of one, like you watch Linus Tech Tips, Gamers Nexus, they've all like done like tests on SSDs. There's there's uh, articles in tests on SS, Gen 4 SSDs and how having a heatsink will affect them. The hardest part of the hardest pop part on an SSD is the memory controller. If that overheats, it slows down, like period. There's multiple articles where you could look and see like, oh, without a without a heatsink, with a cheap heatsink, with a good heatsink, what the differences are. Now putting mm -hmm. now putting basically Basically, any type of de or cheap, decent heatsink will will be significantly better than running it without a heatsink. Period. It will be significantly better for cooling, especially for the memory controller. So, okay, I'm just saying that it does affect Gen three SSDs. They run fine. Like there's they they don't they like they are much less likely to thermal throttle. So, yeah, in terms of that aspect, yeah, but Gen 4 SSD specifically, they run better with heat sinks. The 980 Pro, for example, like you, there was a, there was an article that I was looking at before, uh, Dope, uh, Dopest J had provided it like a few weeks ago. They did a, they did a test on a 980 Pro. Without a heat sink, it was at like 98 degrees on the memory controller. 98 degrees. It was throttling. With with a, even a cheap heat, heat sink, it was at like seventy. It went it went down twenty degrees. Okay, that's a difference. That shit that shit matters. 
Okay. Thank you, sir. I mean, listen, uh, I don't have these issues because I delete my games. This is none of my concern. Thanks, though, Bless. Appreciate that. Uh, you can stay on if you want. Um, let me see if there's uh, any uh, questions I guess I can get from the Patreon. We got, we got a little bit of time left. Let me see. How long is uh, this shit? What, the show? Yeah. Uh, well, Usually. We got like six minutes. Yeah. Like two hours, three hours? Yeah, yeah usually two, two hours. hours. Be too uh, actually, you want to read the super chat, Jack? Yeah, we'll, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, let me reload them real quick, man. Uh, let's see. We get down. Oh my god, bro! This joint been acting stupid all day. Um, we got Jet Life Five Hundred Four. He said, "What is y'all top three games of last gen? Mine are Bloodborne, Persona Five, and DBZ Fighters." Top um, three games. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say last was part two. I'm gonna say uh damn I might put Persona 5 on mine as well. And I'm gonna say uh God of War, fuck it. I yeah. just want y'all to know that's Blaze making those sound effects, you know, before people start you know saying that's Blaze. Um mine God of War, uh Last of Us Part Two, uh Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, oh man, man. Qu- all quality, all quality. Don't quality shame me. Uh, I hate this question because it changes every fucking week. Sometimes, every time somebody asks me, oh, "What's your three current ones?" My three current ones. Um, this is probably just uh, it's gonna be um, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Titanfall, and I'm going to say, uh, what else did I really love? Uh, crackdown. No, no, no. It wouldn't be crackdown. <laughs> um, uh, uh, damn, I'm gonna say. Uh, uh, I can't count the last of because that was technically a PS3 game, right? So um, last was remastered. That's on PS4. Yeah, but it's like it's like. Um, last of Part Two. Hey man, I ain't gonna judge you, bro. I'll, I'll give it to. Uh, see, this is it, is it, I'm gonna give it to freaking Sekiro. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. You said Titanfall two or Titanfall the original? Titanfall one, Titanfall one. Blaze, anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bloodborne, Dark Souls three, and God of War. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, The Wonderful One Hundred One, and I don't know. It'd be a tie between Shin Megami Tensei four and Kid Icarus Uprising. I'm fine with everything except Wonderful One Hundred One. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> it's a great game. All right, I don't think buying there right now. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. We got Andrew Wilkins. He says, "Blaze, you don't have the damage control. Xbox Xbox has been worthless garbage since 2012. No self respecting person buys anything that has to do with Xbox." Right, man, you go. Blaze, you who, got anything? To who, who damage? I, I damage control for Xbox. Damn, you giving me some credit. All right. Yeah, because you're like, you, your guys should hate Xbox, but I own the shrine behind you. You know what I mean? When you did all but that? I'm just saying, because a lot of PlayStation guys don't buy Xbox games. They don't play. I was, I played Halo Infinite. I was in the, I was the Halo Inside, whatever. I like, I play their games. Like, a lot of the PlayStation guys I, won't even touch them. That's I, I the, play that's their game, games via Game Pass. I wouldn't personally. Well, I have bought some Xbox games, but I, I try not to. Uh, let's see here. Let me scroll back down because it refreshed. Um, We got. Emmanuel A1, he says, Blandrew is a good addition. He's pretty funny, but I miss Jimmy. He brought the exaggerated swagger of a middle-aged gamer to the weapon wheel. Crying emoji. Hey, man, we miss Jimmy too, man. Uh, we got Andrew Wilkins. He said, Jack, those rounded tiles used to hurt my eyes too. See? I got used to them, but yeah, I didn't like them at first. Um, we got Jazzy Jefferson. He says, talk about the game past mental illness BG was talking about on Twitter. Guess that might he might get into that. Um, we got S blanks to 95. He says, blessed head told me the PS five is badly designed console. I would like to know what engineering degree he has. Oh, <laughs> shit. I don't know if he's still in here or not. Hello? No, he ain't in here no more. Uh, no, we, we got fears, the greatest motivator. He said, AOBG when the predecessor, what, what, when the predecessor finally drops, I'm having you play it. The game is a remake of Paragon. What the fuck? 
Um, we got King Quiso. He says, I don't know if Bless remembers, but isn't there an article or video on why people shouldn't have the cover off the SSD? Alex be talking like he designed the PS5. I think that's it. Refresh a more time. BG, you want to talk about the Game Pass illness, bro? I mean, all, all I pretty much said was, uh, it's crazy. Any Anytime I, like, say something about Game Pass, my tweets be, you know, that tweet be blowing up. Any, well, anytime I say a lot of any, anything I feel that upsets people, it blows up. But pretty much all, all I said was that uh, Game Pass has convinced people that no game is, is worth the price price that it's at it doesn't even matter the price people think keep thinking i'm talking about like it's all people always think i'm talking about like a 70 dollar game but no you, even like a 15 or 20 dollar game because game pass exists people are, are like oh, is, is this worth 15 20 dollars i mean is it going to game pass you know maybe it could go to game pass and you know it could be free so i don't know you know if i should buy this even at 15 dollars even though that's nothing you know that's how people act it's like they're always cynical and skeptical to like buy any game now because of Game Pass. And, and it's weird. Like, I don't have a problem with Game Pass, man. Like, I really don't. But when you st when you act start acting like you can't pay $15 for a game, now things are getting weird. Like, $15, bro? Especially when it's a game that's like really acclaimed. Like, everybody says it's good. Pl people who played it says it's great. Reviews have said it's great, and you can't pay fifteen dollars for that. You can't pay fifteen dollars for quality. That's why I'm like, yo, what is what's going on? Like, what what is Game Pass really doing to y'all brains, bro? That's my problem. I'm gonna That's be real. I kind I kind of see where they're coming from. Just be, just because, like, if you really heavy into the Game Pass ecosystem and you know they're willing to put newer games in there, I mean, and Death's Door. You know what's crazy? When I originally saw Death's Door, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try that out when it come to game pass you know i'm not even knowing it's coming to game pass i'm just assuming by the way it looked like yeah that'd be in game pass so when it wasn't a game i was actually shocked by that right so like i i feel like they just they're used to getting games with that subscription service so they feel you know it's just like you know it's just like any of these other subscription services man oh yeah that'll be there uh day one or if i see a new wb movie coming out i'm knowing it's gonna be on hbo max i don't necessarily have to run out to the theater to go see that shit so i can kind of feel where they coming from I can understand yeah, and, it. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I can understand it. Yeah, and like, how well have games even been selling on the Xbox since the Xbox One generation? So I'm not surprised that they're, you know, more gravitated towards this type of service. Like, there was even a, a, a... Yeah, there was a, a Capcom report that came out about the Phoenix Wright trilogy. There was a Capcom report that said the Nintendo Switch had more sales than the Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch was just getting old ports from decades ago that year. When they had Monster Hunter World, I think Devil May Cry came out that year and a couple other stuff. So it's just, you know, buying games isn't really their type of thing in a way. Yeah, and, and when you say that, they get offended by it. I'm like, yo, Xbox well, dudes, y'all well, don't well, buy games. That's why Game yeah, Pass exists in the first place. No, 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 no. Please, kindly shut the fuck up with that. Um, <laughs> y'all don't there, buy we, games. Oh, we, the thing is, is that, hold on, the whole Capcom report is like, People are more inept to buy games on Nintendo Switch. There's not like there's a whole ton of options. Um, That's why, like, but continue. So, do, do do they have the same amount of options that the the PS5, PlayStation, and Xbox typically typically get? I know it's gotten it better. Has, it has different options. I wouldn't say different. it has the same exact options. So the thing is, is that these games that Capcom was putting out, like I didn't even know any of these games ever released on freaking Xbox. So I mean. And people were running with this. I'm like, what the hell is the Ace Trilogy? Um, and so people were running with this. It's like, ah, see, this Xbox doesn't buy any games. Da, da, da. And I'm like, and all these people talking all this shit probably haven't even bought in any of those games on their respective platforms to begin with. But um, Game Pass, I, I, I feel like the, the hate that Game Pass get is extremely unnecessary. Um, it's a whole lot of pocket watching going on. Um, and, and I feel like you guys, I wish you guys applied the same logic that you guys apply to Game Pass to the other streaming services that's available that you use today. Nigga, are you buying Donda? Are you buying Donda? It's only going to be, what, $15? How much is it typically? What's Donda? Kanye, Kanye West. Kanye West's West album we've been, we been waiting for for like a month. <laughs> no, what are you going to use? You're going to use what? Spotify? Apple Music? That's not a. That's not. I, the game is different from music. No, no, they they all entertainment services, bro. Games, it, all uh, forms of media: games, movies, and music. 
Vince Games is the different. last one to, to, to take on the subscription model. Yeah, I, well, for one, I'm not buying. I wouldn't buy Donda or I wouldn't buy, you know, any of this music because if you buy it, you pretty much like you pretty. So if you buy it physical, you have to actually I don't like physical things. Right. If is there a way to buy the, the all this music digitally, actually pay for I it digitally? Do. Yes, of course. OK, well, listen, I don't I'll be known. All I know is all I know is I got Spotify but, and I pay for Spotify. So it's not like, you know. But PG, that's a perfect point. You would be the ideal person for a game. You and Bob would be a great ideal people for a game pass. You don't like keep, you really aren't too emotionally connected to games that you play and beat. And you say you'll get rid of them anyway. So why not get game pass, beat the game on there and move the fuck on? Like I, you're yeah. you're the you're the type of person that kind of made a game pass. Well, if you think about it, because I, I, I don't like to rent things, I don't I don't I don't want to rent my games. <laughs> and that's it's a rental. Like I don't want to I don't I don't. Okay, it's not even that it's a rental. I don't I don't want I don't like I've been saying for a while I don't want to I don't want a subscription service for a game because because here's the thing. Here, no, here's the thing. Wait, 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 no, no, because I'm catching you with something. No, you no, like let me let me finish. Games and you don't like to own games. Which me, is it? Because you don't I never, I, ne- I never said I don't like to own games. That's that. That's never. What wait, I hold said. on. But do you do you sell all your games at the start of a generation? I sell the console. Yeah, and, and any hard. Yeah, absolutely. What about the games? The old games. Yeah, I yeah I sold them. Like my, all my PS4 games that I bought that I bought uh, physical. Yeah, I sold them. Well, well, again, Game Pass should be something for you then. No, no because, you're, you're, because, because, because here's the thing. Here, because it's, we're just talking about Game Pass. Because here's the thing, right? Game Pass is, is they, they even said this. Game Pass is for people who want to sample a whole bunch of games that they maybe wouldn't usually pay, pay uh, play, that they don't, you know, that they may want to try out a whole bunch of stuff. They're not sure. Uh, that, that, that's really what it's for. It's, it's, it, but, it, and, but, but it's nothing. But it's nothing but BG, I get what you're saying, but it's also not to stop you from beating those games either. Like, you know, but, here's a, but OK, but OK, I'm paying for a, I'm paying for a gaming service. See, for me, it's different, like with Netflix, because with Netflix, there might be a whole bunch of movies on Netflix, for example, that I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this with gaming. I know if I'm a like a game, like it's not the same. I know I don't have to watch, you know, That's 30 facts. minutes of the movie. Facts. I don't have to like, you know, because I, I can't tell. There's a whole bunch of movies on Netflix. I can't tell from looking at the just the you know the title screen and the image if I'ma like it. I've been gaming for 30 years. I know what I'ma like at this point. I don't I don't need to try it out, sample. I know by now. So what but is the point of not, game? About, what is Game Pass about, for me? What is Game Pass about, gonna do for me? It's not about trying out. If you there is game I got on Game Pass, bro, and I was like, oh shit, that's on here. I've been wanting to play it. Oh shit, that too. It's 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 not about even it's about the discovery of it, right? Game Pass probably got two or three games right now that you probably had on in the past and don't even realize. Like it, game, yeah, Game Pass can be for okay, yeah, I'm gonna try that. I try that. I never beat any of this shit. We know them people, but you actually play and beat games, right? So it's something different for you. You you but, don't have but, to just try the game and never beat that motherfucker. Like, but oh, but man. I also but I also buy everything day one. So th- that the chances of like me finding a game day one on that, game like, oh, they do that. The, the, but but the. <laughs> but okay but here's the thing right so i'm, I'm gonna subscri- so i'm gonna subscribe to game pass on, only for the games that come day one like you look, understand you get, you I'm, pay- though, look, I'm paying look, for though. something i'm essentially paying for something that i'm not gonna take advantage of 99 percent of it okay so exactly just like amazon prime video look, look I, I got netflix right right now chat to blaze uh, listen i haven't I found one documentary that I was fucking when I been watching yesterday. If I don't find nothing else the rest of the time I got Netflix, I'm cool with that for the month. You see what I'm saying? I play two games on Game Pass and beat them. I'm cool. If I don't play five shit else on Game Pass in the next two months that I want to play, I'm not going to be fucked up about that because I did find and beat two games that I was really looking no. forward to. Yeah, playing. but can I add on to BG's thing? Like, what he's, look, like me, any game I want to buy, I buy it day one. And not not every game is available on Game Pass for PC, by every, the way. Every, every Xbox game. Okay, but listen, so Game Pass to me has zero value for me. Now, listen, now listen. When all these new Bethesda games start coming out, right, and the, and the Halos and the uh, the new Dooms and shit, then the Game Pass will be valuable again because these are new games, and now I can just sign up and play it for nothing. Okay, but okay. Right now, Game Pass hasn't been 
worth. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. But because his game, his game's coming. The ascent, which people's looking forward to, I believe that was day one on Game Pass. They gained twelve minutes with William Defoe. That's going to be on Game Pass. Psychonauts two, whether how you feel about it, like these are titles that are coming out. On okay, game but for me personally, I ain't playing that stuff. Like, like okay, but, we, Xbox, though, right? we, but, but we got a very specific Xbox games. Right. Very specific. We got okay. We let's eliminate it, right? Okay, what does Game Pass offer? Day day one games, okay, and not everything is day one. So okay, you got to eliminate the games that that are not day one, right? That's a lot of games that they're not getting day one. Okay, boom, right? Old games, okay. I don't really have old games. I'm pretty, I don't really play old games for the most part. I'm always caught up. Most of the time, I'm always caught up with the games I want to play. So that eliminates old games for me. Okay, trying out new, trying out some stuff that I might not have gotten to play, sample it. I don't like to do that. That eliminates that. What does that leave me with to, to play in Game Pass? That only leaves me with Xbox games that may that may come out day one games you may have not gotten around to the, the, but i just said that typically never happens for me because i always stay yeah. up to date with my games yeah, that, yo, we it's, buy it's, everything day one bro. it's that it's it, yo it is very it's seldom that, come, it, that that argument doesn't work because a lot of these games come to game pass day. no but no they but, don't but not, not all, coming but not all of them like, that's what i'm saying the only games that are left for me that would give game pass any value are xbox brand new xbox games that go there day one right so my point is if that's the only thing game pass can offer me i might as well just buy those games day one like outside of game pass because then then because i'm not taking advantage of 99 percent of what game pass offers me so i'll just buy the game itself you buy any game digitally right because i know these games ain't got no time yeah. resale value i'm about to say yeah i'm buying it digitally so you're like, oh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, this don't understand that, about right? digital games, though. So you don't mind having the digital collection, but it's the physical collection you don't fuck with. Because when they when they get annoying owning all these digital games, you're never gonna play again. They don't give a fuck about for real, like. Bro, I don't even acknowledge that they exist. Like they're just, right. like I don't, I don't really see physical. Like I, I don't have to see them physical, so I don't even like really acknowledge that they exist like that. So they're real, no, I don't really. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. You know, you consider like, them rentals too, goddamn. Okay, well, uh, no, digital know. games are rental games, man. That's just what they are. I mean, they have a license that can expire, but if you buy it, you just buy the license forever. You're supposed to anyway. So, like, all my point is, is that for me, Game Pass has no value. As it doesn't. No, I agree. Wait, if you look at a digital game as a rental, so you would rather pay uh, sixty, seventy dollars for a rental rather than for each rental that you do, rather than. Uh, never mind. I, I, I know. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But here's the thing, right? Like, yes, I'm okay paying sixty dollars for an Xbox game day one because I'm not buying every Xbox game. It's very few and far between that I that I buy an Xbox game day one because I don't like I like I said. Games. Yeah, it's not many game Xbox games that I think are that that are that I even like to buy day one. Move, don't don't Game Pass give you a discount on the games you actually want to yes, buy? Yes, a three dollar discount. That's fire. like who cares, bro? Know. It it, hap it happens so seldomly. I could just buy the game day day one on the platform that I that I you know the service that I that I want it. It does it literally doesn't make a difference. Jack, like, okay, you know, Jack. Like, like, BG. I feel like, though, I feel like I feel like BG has went out on this. You know, fuck Game Pass stands so hard. He trying to stand on it. But bro, right? bro, 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 I don't. Even, I, but hold on. But I don't even like PlayStation now. I don't. I, I've been saying that's trash for years. Like, they, don't, like, they don't put that many newer games on there. Okay, wow. but, but it's the we, same we concept. To justify welfare gaming. So I, I don't like none no, of this no, stuff. No, I'm, I'm saying I don't understand why you and BG don't like Game Pass more because y'all don't. Y'all say y'all don't like. No games. value. Like, it's just you no value. Why? why? One, I don't play on Xbox. Two, Game Pass sucks on PC. That's, and that's the Windows true. Store, no, no, it is true. A lot of games the run Windows, like Rage too. First of all, see, okay, this is, okay. Hold on, hold on, but games Wait are, a minute, wait a minute, Blaze. Game Pass is not going through the Windows Store on PC. Uh, hold on, but listen. Yeah, Y'all don't know what y'all are talking. No, it is not. Y'all don't know Since what y'all are talking. Since when? Since months ago. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's misinformation, bro. So you as, did of, not use as the of months ago, you're saying? Ever, since I can, bro, they have stopped using yeah, Windows. You know, like,
<laughs> they stopped using the Windows Store for a minute, man. That's yeah, what I'm saying. You yeah. the app directly. That, it, thank you. The, okay, but saying. listen, the oh, app directly, I played Rage 2. Rage 2, yeah, it does the not game work is broken like on, on the Xbox version. It just is. Forza Horizon, don't boot up for a lot of people. Like, I asked Kofi's Discord, it don't boot up, period. Look, look, and then the thing, thing, Jack, that's, that's hold on, Jack. Let me just say this one point, Jack, one point. The reason why Game Pass is valuable to you, Jack, to you, because... You never fucked with Xbox your whole life. So all these games are like, oh, this is new. This is new. I haven't played that. I don't even oh, have a lot of old Xbox games. What are you talking but, about? But in general, like you, Jack, but in general, you don't buy a lot of games. You're rubbing the game. But the, game, the games, games I'm talking about, the games I'm talking about that I played on there aren't even Xbox eccentric games. What, what are you talking about? So wait, when you boot up an Xbox oh. game on from Game right. Pass, like on PC, what does it boot up on? The Xbox app. And yeah, that's running just, through. Let me launch the accent. Like, right now. yeah, what is that running through though? Like, if you if you if you go to the Xbox, the Windows Store on, you can still pull up the Game Pass games. But if you try to click download, it's going to redirect you to the Xbox app. You got to download it, get it. Is is that so still not Windows games, technically? It's good to see. You cannot that's you it. cannot down you cannot natively download a game from the the uh, Windows Store. Bottom line is this, Jack. It's People, not Steam though. There's a reason why the top selling games on Steam happen to be Microsoft games. The Steam versions run better than the stupid Game Pass versions. Go for that's whatever not, you can look reason this up, it Jack. is, you can look it up. the Game Pass sure. versions are trash. The I'm Windows hard. versions are trash. Yeah. All that's... the games, but there's a few There's a few of them out there that just don't run well at all. I don't know why. I have no idea Jack why. That's a clown for hyping a rental service. Hold on, Kings of Game. I got something for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you like... You block me in a dick eater. Hold on. Let me... Hit BG up on Twitter, bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Listen, Game Pass ain't exactly. got nothing for like me, bro. That. Game Pass just got nothing for me, bro. It's no, same. Like, like I said, like, listen, when I have kids, right? Let's say I have a, a few little BGs running around. I'm never buying a game for them. I'm getting Game Pass for them. But now I got I got no reason to get Game Pass. No, I would never I would never put my kids and give them that horrible experience. My son, I swear to God, I, if he was in here, I would get him. I asked him, I was like, yo, we can't find the PS5. Would you be cool with an Xbox or Series X? Like, nobody plays Xbox. Like, I'm like, who told you that? My friends at school. Like, so it's just, it's stupid shit. Obviously, it's childish shit, but that's just the main consent out there. Like, kids think PlayStation's cool for some, whatever reason, and they think Xbox is weird. I don't know why. Oh, my kids think Xbox is the shit, so. Yeah, because well, you're, you're, you're their father. No shit. So, yeah. <laughs> do you got, BG, how old are you? Uh, thirty-one now. Boys, God. how old are you? Is that I don't I don't disclose what NPCs. What'd you say? What'd you say? How old are you? I'm thirty. All right, so you guys won't probably remember this, but back when I was in high school, at an even middle and even late middle school, people would make fun of Nintendo, calling them kitty. Nintendo even now, had that kid. reputation for being a kitty games. Still, do, the whole N sixty four and GameCube. Hmm. Bro, but like BG said, bro, if you buy your games day one, then Xbox, it, it, um, the Game Pass is, it, I see the value. I'm not saying Xbox Game Pass has no value. Absolutely, it does have value. But for the right people, for me, yeah. a guy that buys his games day one, there's no value for it. Now, when these new games come out, this, this, another, no this, is another, this is another thing, though, Blaze. Because BG brings up people that only try out the games, don't beat them. You don't beat a lot of games that you buy. Oh. Fucking two. Who doesn't? Huh? Ooh, Blaze does not beat their game. Blaze does not beat a lot of games that he buys. Bro, that is not true, bro. That, that is, is absolutely true. true. That is not true at all. That is absolutely true. Jack, I beat Returnal, and you, you still you on fucking you buying you, you literally, you literally, in this exact same podcast, said your Steam library is full of games that you've repurchased and never going to beat. Right? You what, what's that have to do? Hours, what's that? What's that? What's that have to do with beating the game? Because you're bra you up. bragged earlier about buying rebuying yeah, games that, you're never going to beat, and then you just said you buy a lot of games. You don't beat these games, bro. Jack, but that's that's different. Those are games I've already played and beat. That doesn't mean I don't want to see what they look. Just like BG said, I want to play back. Batman again because it was at 30 it's the same concept i don't understand why that's so hard like i'm betting i'm playing the better version the superior version i want to see how it plays and runs how how hard is that to understand i be all bro jack listen you low-key you don't even jack you know what you do every night bro you're in discord talking about jiggy battles you don't even play games how many games have you beaten oh this year? shit huh how many games have you beaten this year 11 i've beaten Minus 10 
Okay, so y'all underneath me. Hey, you said 11 minus what? One minus what? I wasn't talking. (laughs) 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 Nah, but Jack, look, look. About that game being and shit, listen. Listen, in the beginning of the PS4 generation, I was, I was, listen, I was buying games at a rate. Where you couldn't do anything else but just boot them up, bro. I was buying every jack. Come on, you know that's, this. That's Stop playing games. No fan, though. Okay, Maybe but that game was game before. Game listen, game quick, you know. listen. Now my time. I have I have three goddamn kids. My time is super valuable, bro. Now when I play a game, I play the game. Man. I play it. That's it. Like I just beat Mad Max, bro. I beat Mad Max. I, that's a game I put down on PS4 because it ran like shit, and I've completed that game. That's a long fucking game. The Witcher 3, I completed on PC because it ran like shit on PS4. Mm. Cyberpunk, I, I beat that day one, even though it ran like shit. I got a quick just... question going back. Uh, what was uh, Bless Fred saying about the SSDs, the MBMEs, and heat sinks? He said mm-hmm. only Gen 4 SSD. He said Gen 4 SSD specifically need heat sinks, but the other ones don't. Well, I got a Gen 4 one. I don't believe it comes with a heat sink. It hasn't been giving me no problems. He said it overheat bad if you don't have it. Well, okay. um, we got no. Oh, my! I guess mine comes with its own dynamic thermal guard, so I guess that's its own built-in heat sink. Mm. Uh, Jack, you want to read uh, those final super chats so uh, we can get out of here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta reload it real quick. Uh, Jack been drinking the, that Game Pass Kool Aid a little bit. I see. Okay, I don't even okay. I'm just saying, bro. I, I, I can see the value in it, bro. I'm Take it, so you're not a PlayStation. Like you're not the commissioner no more, bro. All you do is run your mouth about PlayStation, bro. Enough's enough. Oh enough. shit! Don't you want to do a PlayStation podcast with me, boys? Hold on. Never asked you that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 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 it's too <just crazy. laughs> uh, All right, man. you gotta accommodate, BG. Right, if we I don't on. accommodate. Super chat break, man. We got Mister Oshido. He said, "What? Uh, what is Smooth's next hard game challenge? God of War, maybe." I'm assuming yeah. he says. We Man, I'm not doing them shits no more. There Smooth, you would have 100,000 subs and mad money in the bank, but your mental health, you might need to hire a therapist to do it. <laughs> All right. We got N Bandai HD. He says, as much as I hate it, Smooth has a point. Oh, shit. Roll an eye emoji. Um, we got RCNG086. He says, Sony boys really love single player games. Six months after a Sony game releases, no one's playing it. Six months after a Microsoft game, you're getting an update of more content. Okay. There was no content day one. Good job, buddy. We got Beast Slayer. He says, ultimately, Game Pass is really uh, for people with ADD. Yes. I mean, Microsoft proved that. We got uh, we got Shot Red 555. He sent the big boy $20 donation. He said, BG is the type of person that don't believe in preservation. Which there is something to be said about that. We keep stuff like that for the next generation in history. You don't have to do that, but judge on who does. Okay, there you go. I um, agree with that. We got a we got Emmanuel A one. He said Jack move killing y'all. Hold it down for the bots. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got Ball Daily. He said the big boy twenty dollar donation. He said watching Bond and BG twerk to give billion dollar corporations more money is hilarious. Wow. Game Which is has- funny because y'all the ones spending four hundred dollars on SSDs, buying said, multiple consoles. He said Game Pass is the best deal in gaming. If Sony was doing it, BG and Bond would be pegging themselves on the corner of the PS5. How does how does <laughs> how does that make sense? Once again, once again, I don't know how that makes sense when I've been telling people for years that uh, PlayStation, uh, I don't even remember the name of it, is trash. PlayStation now is trash. I've been saying that for years, but but carry on, carry on. That's funny. <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right. Shout out to uh, shout out to uh, you know, all the viewers. Shout out to everybody who. Uh, oh, BG, know. that is a good question, though. BG, I don't know. I th- I'm calling cap on it. it. It's not a good question. Um, if play if PlayStation now, which is nine dollars a month, and you was guaranteed every Sony first party game day one in that motherfucker, you want some trouble for that? I'm oh, buying it, bro. I'm buying it. PS- uh, no, no, I'm just gonna buy the game. I would subscribe to PS. I wouldn't. I'm just gonna no, buy the so game. So it's the streaming part that's mad. Well, it's, it's no, just but you get but, but every you game can download. Play, you can, you yeah, you can it. download. That's what I'm saying. But the games you're forced to stream is the only complaint people yeah. have now. But what I'm saying, um, we talking about brand new PS5 day one titles. No, I'm still buying the yeah, game, bro. I'm still buying the game. Full of shit. 
I'm still buying the game, I bro. Know, I know for a fucking fact I wouldn't. You tripping. All right. I, okay, how about this? I'll, 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 defi- I'll definitely take advantage of it by, you know, because I have you as my game share partner. But that, other than that, I'm buying the game. That's like you go. That's like you park at the same place every day. They be like, you could buy a parking pass for a year for twenty dollars, <laughs> or you could pay fifteen dollars every day. You come to park in this motherfucker. Like, what you gonna pay to park it, every it, day, it, bro? It, like, it, on, it's 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 not because PlayStation exclusives. Let's be real. Are what maybe two three times a year? That's that's how often we I buy a PlayStation exclusive. That's how many. That's so, how many. That, but, so that but this this goes back to why do you have PS now then? I mean, why do you have PS Plus? For it's, it's, re- it's, it's required for you to play online online games. How, oh, now, okay, now this is my second question. How often do you play PlayStation online? Uh, <laughs> almost never. But you know why I haven't? No, no, hold on. No, and I can answer that. No, I can answer that. No, I can I can answer that. And I've said this on record. I've said this on record. I buy. I bought PlayStation. Uh, I bought PlayStation Plus. I buy it years in advance so that I can have it for cheap. So I had, bro. I had ten years. Of, because you can so you stack call, it, yes, be, so you, yes. So, so because I got it for cheap, of a that you didn't even yes, know was going to exist in ten years. Yes, I did because okay. because because <laughs> there were at the time at the time there were uh, PlayStation multiplayer games I was playing, and I still Bills, yeah. because and be, I still even though I wasn't sure if there was games I was going to be playing, I might as well buy it now. And since it stacks. I don't have to worry about it. I got, I had, I, I got like ten years of PlayStation now for like thirty dollars each. The thing is sixty dollars. Oh, so look how much money I saved. So yeah, I'm, I'm just smarter than you. Oh, you'll, That's you'll all. save money. That, you'll save money that way, but yes, you won't I save will. money by way of getting a service that you the games they want. No, I, I will not. You, I will not pay Jack, for that. You won't save money by just deleting their games. I, I delete Nobody my does that. Nobody does. I that. delete my games. Everybody does that, Blaze. Nobody does that. Jack, right, what, what percentage of people do you actually think are going to open their PlayStation Listen. and put in a three hundred dollar drive? A three hundred dollar drive? I don't know about three hundred dollar drive. I've seen a few people. How many people get people. a decent drive? And, yo, my my PS4 Pro, I could literally hold the right D pad and it would scroll, and I and that just gave it got my dick hard. I I, I like that. Oh, okay, uh, a lot of us like to fuck <laughs> pussy to get our dick hard. Whatever, but I, I mean, bought you have no, kids yet? You getting pussy? I, bet, I don't. I wear rubbers. What can I say? Yeah, Robert, I sorry, move on. Robert. But the bottom line is, I would be interested to see the actual sales numbers of Microsoft's one terabyte memory card compared to the amount of consoles that are out there. What do you think that would be, Blaze? It wouldn't be. Uh... Do you think I, it would I be? Feel, a... I feel like I feel like you think it would be a high number. It? I think it would be fifty percent. So you nah, think? You should, you should be... Wow, I'm done. No, no. You think half of Xbox owners went out and paid two hundred? No, not how half, much is that? Half. I would say twenty percent. Twenty percent. I don't even think twenty percent. Hey, Jack wastes money by not buying a desktop and buying a laptop every year. How about right. that? How yeah, many, yeah, how many yeah. Have you changed? yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. had this, I've had my current gaming laptop for three years now, and it's trash, so, ain't it? And I and I and and I've made that amount of money over the three years numerous times. Oh, oh now it's so about wasted. how much money you made. Okay, I'm just saying. Look, Look, the amount of money you made is pointless. It's the amount of money you saved versus how much you spent. Yeah, but you I, can I make a million. You can make a million dollars if you waste nine hundred eighty thousand. What you what you really bring home? <laughs> I mean, if I spent a thousand dollars on the laptop, I made twenty thousand dollars on. I'm not too fucked up about that. Just now, just imagine bond, what I waste bond, bond, money. real quick, Bond. Like you gotta, you gotta fucking man up and stop cream pieing, girls, man. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Blaze is a hundred percent right. Bitches out here getting cream pied. Exactly why I don't eat these hoes out. Blaze, oh, thank, right, thank you for proving my point. Oh man, it's time for proving my point. Time to wrap it up. <laughs> this whole time, yo, and like, bro, but man. nobody's like, eating out random girls. Come on, bro. Who thank you. Because you got niggas like you out here busting nuts in all of them. Man, absolutely, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey man, I let's put my face in that. Let's wrap that it up. Hey, hey, this has been Weapon Wheel Podcast 291. Let's do these outros. Oh, man. Uh, Blaze, thank you for coming on, sir. Yeah, no, it was, it was good. It was a good time. Um, I appreciate y'all. Solid cast Wednesdays, 9 o'clock. RGT Fridays, 5 o'clock. Appreciate you. You're going to uh, tell Rev I'm sorry and to invite me back on? I'll, I'll you know, call him. And, and uh, you, you call call him? Yeah, who's I, I can't believe he blocked you, bro. Like you, you guys are like uh, that's crazy. I can't believe I, he no, blocked we, you. We, we've been at we've known each other since the very beginning. 
I'll hit him up, man. I can't promise you nothing, but I'll hit him. All right. Uh, Jack, move. Hey, man. Good podcast this week, man. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Um, Jack, move, Johnny. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be on the podcast next week though, because I gotta get this. Uh, I gotta get a bone graph. I gotta get two bone graphs on my um, gum. So I don't know, man. We'll see. I don't even you know if I'm to, streaming. You need to stay out of the factory, dog. No, oh man. man. But yeah, bone man. Appreciate graphs? y'all, boys. Man. Jiggymerch.com. You know the vibes. We out. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get somebody the same weight as Jack move to hold it down next week. <laughs> hey, man. All right. Without me, you might, you might, uh, the podcast might be dead, man. I don't know. The Rito's oh, fucking killed, that, killed his teeth, man. This, yeah, so that jiggy cool. food be fucking you up. I keep telling you. Uh, All right, um, Blandrew. Good episode, guys. I'm trying to have a video out by this Saturday, so subscribe to the channel and hopefully it's up by then. What, what are we looking at, Blandrew? What's it going to be? A Xenoblade video or a Super Monkey Ball video? I'm on. Hey, Blandrew get views out here, man. He just don't upload a lot. Talk about you got two thousand on that Blanderland Flopland. No, I'm saying he does get views. He just doesn't upload as frequently. Yeah, and 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 I keep telling people you watch the channel, Blaze. I appreciate that. That's why the like button is upload more, dude. That's why the like button's important. And also, if you don't like upload regularly, nobody finds your shit. Speaking of which, Bond, I think I'll unblock you today after the podcast. Oh, he's still no, blocked. You see? see oh, you know, Blaze. I got blocked by Blandrew. I got blocked by Mocha. I got blocked by Rev. Well, we know why you got blocked by Mocha. I forgot Mocha world, blocked man. you. I forgot. <laughs> he's he's doing doing the ball he's still the bald head. Oh, Lord. I mean, you got to cut out the bald. <laughs> the bald, the bald, the bald <laughs> people, man. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach. Yo. You call more the ball? <laughs> yeah, cause you shaved your head. Yo, what's wrong with you? Man? I, wow, I told her, I, I like you betrayed me. Look at oh, him, Wallen. That shit went all the way left. That shit went all the way left and around back right. Oh my god, that's <laughs> just Wallen out here. Uh, smooth. Uh man, yeah. So, uh, yeah, good episode, man. Uh. I'll see you guys next week. Rest in peace to my fish, Michael Blackson. Um, he got huh? ding dinged by a bunch of freaking snails today. It was weird. So, oh what? But you have a, you have an aquarium. I had a I had a fish tank, and I what happened is they left some of the uh, eggs for the the sh- from the snails that were in. You know when you go, it, they have this, these aquariums. You you pick the fish out that you want. You pick the plant and stuff like that. So what they did was they had all these extra eggs that didn't clean off. So the the tank ended up getting like. <laughs> infested with like snails and they like gang bang my last fish and i, I found it today what? With the, about like seven snails attached to it so i'm like well holy shit why would you buy wow. so many snails you only buy one or two no, it had oh, one, they, they had eggs there in the thing and they kind of overtook the the tank mm. it's crazy um who didn't do their outro bond um i guess y'all should show up to the after dark because it's probably about to be wild but Good podcast, good talking to everybody. You know, I just need you techno Xbox geniuses to be able to use your hands and learn how to use a screwdriver. All right. Uh, yeah, so last episode, last weapon episode, yeah, I don't see it up because YouTube somehow screwed it up. For some reason, only the first hour of the podcast shows and then it just freezes. So I emailed YouTube, but you know how YouTube is. So uh, maybe it get fi- it gets fixed eventually. I don't know. So that's what happened to that. But this episode, hit the like button, please. We're out of here. We'll catch y'all next week. All right, peace. So how do you check the story? Right. Plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. Nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon a scoping. All black panel. You can never try playing us token. Nope. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at all. <laughs> oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies. Damn. God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? How? So Kiss moved to body you and Halo. Then send your family an angel emoji. Damn. Oh, 
should have known, dog. You ain't got enough Series X. Is blind, got all the answers. No, you ain't got to ask Siri questions. All the latest gaming news got to be here to check it. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. Yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Cash Move, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean. Blandrew, I mean, what you... You can't all strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong.